what up, uh, guys? We what are up? here. Oh. Flagrant 2. Um, <laughs> Kev on stage. What up? Doughboy. Yerp. Doughboy looking slender, bro. Hey, man, I'm trying to get to it, man. Dude, Spend you're me. a handsome guy, bro. Thank you, man. I appreciate Doughboy, that. Doughboy, do got a, Yo, got a facial structure. Guy, Doughboy is they good They don't notice looking. it when you big like no, that. They don't. <laughs> Not everybody gets slim and cute. Yeah. He got cool. light brown eyes, too. <laughs> I didn't even know. We be doing the podcast eyes, sometime and the sun hit him. I be like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> my, up, my dude. My dude. My dude. <laughs> Men can't compliment each other like that. We're like, yo, I you can. probably get a lot of girls. I can. White guys I can. can. That's, white dudes that's do get away privilege. with it. I grew up a white dude. Yeah. I can. Don't worry, you look good. Kev, you all right. <laughs> so, so you lost how much, bro? Um, right now, currently 222 pounds, randomly. Oh. Now, do I you want wonder where that goes. Son, like, you lost happened? one fourth of a Teddy Ray. <laughs> <laughs> you off camera catching straight. <laughs> 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 he wasn't even ready. He was like, yeah, wait, wait, wait. I, I, I Teddy me. Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy was willing to lay on the carpet. I had you, man. I had you. <laughs> We nah, haven't man, properly um, introduced our guests, but y'all should know them from the uh, Righteous uh, righteous and Ratchet, and Ratchet podcast. Yeah, yes. R&R. R&R yes. R podcast. Now, did you guys get that from Charlemagne? No, we did not. Actually, we actually started this a long time ago. So Charlemagne it's, got it from you? No, I'm not even saying that. I just think sometimes I don't they think might it's think an original idea enough right. for anybody to claim it. I thought it was saying. Charla. I thought Charla. No, we had idea. started back in 2016, and we really just started like as it's like a conversation like you know because yeah. Kev is more put together he's married kids I at the time was just ratchet in the streets and so we used to talk about like principles of just trying to live so we no, it was it all Christian Christian based at first it was combo. all Christian based conversation mm -hmm. but I lost that sounds every funny. argument right I'd be like well, it, wasn't there, it wasn't supposed to be a podcast I, I right. lose the arguments with God <laughs> <Bruh. I'm> like, <laughs> Doughboy was challenging me on some stuff and I was just like man I don't like, know bro. Watch porn. I don't know like, man you know, he I don't Christians know watch porn yeah that was like oh, a man. question that we thought that, that can I would they ask. watch porn <laughs> no, nah, can they? Here, here we go. You're just watching it. You're not jerking off, right? To it. So you can. Here's here's my answer for a lot of like them. There's the way I was raised, and I was in church. I didn't even hear what you said. You said you can't as long as it's not black women. <laughs> What? You can't let the you can't watch the queens getting disrespected like that. You that know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> the blanket term in, in marriage is the marriage bed is undefiled. Okay. So there's a lot of uh, most Christians would agree that porn is bad. You should not watch it. Even right. if you're married. Even if you're married, because you because you because you're, you're watching like somebody else have sex, right? Okay. So that's right. like adultery, right? So this is how I grew up, right? So when I was like 16, I was watching this minister and his wife's kids, like babysitting them. So I go to the so, VCR. I was like, I was like, I was like no, no. How you grew right, up? I'll show you about Bathsheba. <laughs> I want to go to that church. Nah, nah. What's that one called? <laughs> so I'm watching Backstrokes their daughter. Every Sunday. <laughs> Backstroke. <laughs> so, uh. Nailed I, to the cross. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god bro he's going to hell but he don't have one so i went to, uh, <laughs> i went to take the uh put of, of uh like a disney movie in the vcr and it was a porn in there in the main kitchen like the i mean the main living room thing yeah this is a minister so then i'm like yo y'all like maybe that's a mistake right so i take it out and go to put it to the side bro they had like 20 <laughs> porns like perfectly labeled i'm like yo but wow. i but the but y'all was teaching. <laughs> I, so I was like, ever since then, I kind of been like confused. Changed. And that's kind of been a, a lot of things in church, how I grew up. People said one thing, but what they were doing at home mm. turned out to not be what they were preaching and stuff. So right. when I came to LA, me and my wife kind of went through a period of like, man, what is what is our relationship with God going to be? Because mm. so much of it was what our grandma said, what the pastor said. Yeah. Like one of our pastors, when we were growing up, said you can't go to the movies. Every movie sinful. Lion King, sin. And I found out when I was like 17, she was like, my grandma was like, oh yeah, his son was having sex in the theater. So he kind of went on this whole tangent, but we didn't really listen. Like that was his whole thing. Right. But at our age, you the pastor was right. Bible. Like he talked so, directly so to God and in stuff. in your relationship with God, can you watch porn? I don't your feel, personal one. I don't feel comfortable enough to watch porn in my relationship. I have watched porn. And what did you do? Did you beat that fucking dick? <laughs> Why do I do that? Y'all be so God? aggressive with the masturbation. Where do you point your dick when you jerk off? Right to the fucking heavens, dog. That's disrespectful, dude. You uh, pulling open yo. that urethra? That's, that's foul, dog. It, uh, it automatically points up. That. 
<laughs> it automatically goes up, points up. You don't have to point it up. It looked like you're shooting at him. <laughs> you just shoot loads of Jesus, bro. That's foul, dog. Yo, you got to clear That's your mind. You can't, <laughs> you can't think about that stuff when you're doing that. <laughs> It'll mess you up. You'll be like, yeah, man. That's just a ratchet. That's definitely, that's definitely ratchet. ratchet. That's definitely ratchet. That is, that's, that's far ratchet. <laughs> that's definitely. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm just saying. So you're staying away from the porn. I don't really watch that much porn either. Yeah, I right. think uh, I don't feel 100% comfortable watching porn, though. I've never really been into porn anyway. Nigga, you be making your own porn and my, watching I watch that. my own porn. I don't want to watch other people. It's just Wait a like, minute, so you lost all this weight and now you're doing porn? Before he lost the weight. Yeah, listen, listen this I was, before? I was before? 450 with sex tapes. You understand that? Hold on. You got to find the dick. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> 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 I want to see that porn. Hold Imagine on. the beginning of the porn and she's just like, all right, like, <laughs> this has been like 30 dogs. minutes. I want to search. <laughs> yeah, dude. Swimming through belly, dude. <laughs> Are you sure no. it's there? Oh yeah, Yo, it's there. Yeah. Dude, that's hilarious to watch Absolutely. your dick raise your stomach off. Of you. I'm telling you, that'd be the reason because people always ask me like they'd be like, "Yo, why'd you lose weight?" And they'd be thinking it's like some big, like epic reason, and it was really just to get my dick back. Like that was the only dick game was trash. Yes, it was not good. So it was hard to stay up or what? No, it would stay up, but it just it got fat. No, your you dick gets smaller when you get bigger. Does it, I was it just dick. No. Is it the perception or no, really? Like no, the, let me the tell the you as a dude. Measurements? I was waking up with less dick than I was going to sleep with on certain mornings. Why? You were in a recession. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> and it was trash. <laughs> you wake up like, what the fuck? Damn, 27 I know what, again? Like, how much dick was there <laughs> when I went to bed. The third so, quarter in a row. And I'm telling you, there's no good there's no good sexual positions. Like, I had a chick try to so ride. You had to lose a weight to put your dick in low power? <laughs> Hold on. So this thing thing, so every yes. other part of your body gets fat. Your head yes. gets fat. Your uh -huh. ankles get fat. Everything gets fat. Your dick goes your away. Dick goes so away. I felt as if my stomach was holding my dick hostage. It was going away. I had to free my dick with <laughs> diet and exercise. So you start losing weight. Uh huh. And your dick starts Start growing. coming back. And I was going on a revenge tour, going back to all the women. I mean, like, because you know, like women are different. When women lose weight and you wasn't fucking with them, they'd be like, "Fuck you, you were trash." Yeah, like yeah, yeah. I was like, "No, nah, no." Nah, <laughs> but come get this dick down though. <laughs> Shit different though. I'm not gonna hold it against you. It's lit. So you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that was definitely the biggest motivation for losing weight. Like, cause I couldn't fuck, bro. Really? Yeah. Did they did they change their tune where they're like, was Absolutely. it like one of those Yelp reviews where it's like Absolutely. I can't actually came back? And it's like so now like all the old chicks that I used to mess with are trying to come back, like new chicks trying to get in the game, but I said, fuck all that, I got in a relationship. How now, long? now, now, <laughs> this, now, this sex positions when you're wearing four fit when you're weighing four fifty. Four oh, oh, you have one, four which is back doggy style. That's it. Oh, you don't lay on your back. No, no, she gonna spring I her had hips. a chick try to do that. She dislocated <laughs> you her hip. You, like trying to do you that. Have to just think about gymnast. this. If you gotta lay down and you four eighty six, and she gotta. You straddle you it's like Gunners. riding a double that was like seat being horse. on a, a pommel horse <laughs> for real to ride you. like for real <laughs> she so, got a dismount like <laughs> it was tough and it was like <laughs> you know you try to get on top you taking you taking a chance I, I had it I told this story on one of our podcasts like a chick was like you know because when you're big you don't want to let all your weight go and so a chick was like she was <laughs> like no don't those let other go. bitches act like that you give it all to me give it all to me daddy I said what she was like put all so she was like put all your weight on me I said alright so I put it all and as soon as I did she was like <laughs> wait, 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 but not all of it. Wait, wait, God damn it. somebody get this thing like, <laughs> like, so she didn't know what she was asking for. So, <laughs> you mean, you, yes. when you're on top of a girl, it wasn't, it wasn't, you don't let look. all the weight go on her. Big dudes know you hold your arms up like this, so yeah. you don't. But she wanted me to just kind of just really. So you just, basically planking. Yes, I was planking the whole time. Your sex. core probably was was super strong back then. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was, but the dick was trash though. So. <laughs> the dick was trash, but so, now the dick is on point. Man, I'm. You huh. lost how much again? So I started at I started at 486, and as of a couple days ago, I was 262. So and that's and crazy. then you went. How'd you do it? You dieted. Well, no, that's the thing. I got so that's the thing. So people would be thinking I cheated the system because I got weight loss surgery. So I got weight loss surgery in 2015. They think you cheated too because you cheated. <laughs> 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 what are you talking about? <laughs> they think I cheated. Dude. Hey, this see, is how I cheated. See how he gets on the phone? Making sense? How did I not cheat? Because bro. see, this is the fucked up thing. Because so I got weight loss surgery. I got the gastric sleeve. Yeah. So yeah, I started losing weight, but but people don't understand. Is yeah. like I have what was called like basically a transfer of addiction because I couldn't eat food anymore, but then I started drinking. So, so I was drinking like a bottle a day, and so then it was like a whole thing. I became like a whole functioning alcoholic. Went to rehab. Yo, no, boy was no, that's not accurate because you were not functioning. 
<laughs> well, I know Doughboy from Wild and Out. Yeah, yeah it was, Doughboy and I were on Wild and Out together. Yes. He was cool. We were cool. I make fun of him for being fat. He make fun of him for being brown. Whatever. That's that was the, that was a relationship. But then we would go, we would do these colleges together. Oh yeah. And anytime Doughboy was at a college with me, and I went to the hotel, they were like, "You want one king?" I was like, "Nah, Doughboy gonna have his own fucking room. Give me two doubles." <laughs> and every time Doughboy would pretend he had a place to stay, and then at the end of the night, he'd be like, "Yo, man, where you staying at?" You <laughs> every course. fucking time. Absolutely. <laughs> Every time I'm just gonna hang out for a little bit. You got HBO on yours. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you taking a shower, hey, bro? Man, <laughs> saying, I was just hot. Hey, it man, wasn't that. This couch ain't gonna sleep by itself. <laughs> the fact that you willingly went out of town like, with no. Let me. <laughs> He's a good guy. Oh, that was your plan. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm gonna like just that. lean on my boy here. And I knew. Yeah. The fact that you went from getting your right size bed to just let me just go out and get these two <laughs> beds out the way. This motherfucker be homeless, man. Come on. Yeah. Ain't nobody give his big ass money. Yeah, it was Bruh, tough. No boy has that effect on people. What's People want to help. People want to help. Doughboy got fifteen thousand mm-hmm. dollars from Russell Simmons at All Death for losing two hundred pounds, and he, he lost one hundred. And- no, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. I was trying to figure out how to get there. I was trying to figure out how to get there. As soon as I said that, and I you was just like, took the quickest route. I was like, Russ fled to Sri Lanka so goddamn fast. <laughs> oh, he man. wrote one hashtag me too. He was like, I'm out of here. Let me meditate with these time motherfuckers. <laughs> but he gave me fifteen k, and I was for losing two hundred pounds. And Doughboy lost like 150. He was like, he won't really know the difference. So Doughboy was like, I'm not going to get to 200. I, I just like, bet you he won't ask. I was like, I did it today. He was like, all right. <laughs> so I lost the weight. But then like I was a full functioning alcoholic. I went to rehab. Right. Shit got raided by the FBI. I came That's home like, thing. I came what home like, home like Jesus must want me to it. drink again. Wait, hold on. Who got raided by Here's the FBI? No, the, the rehab facility I went to, they were doing like some foul <laughs> shit. They were like creating fake insurance policy for people. They were like, so I'm there for two weeks, like judging everybody. Like y'all are really alcoholics. I was seeing people drink hand sanitizer. It was a whole thing. And then the FBI came in and I was like, oh, Jesus must want me to keep drinking, says the FBI. Yeah, what say you? What say you? I don't think Jesus was like, you know what? You're not done with the but head. think about it. So he didn't turn it from water into, you know, Snapple. <laughs> it was keep wine. Keep the party going. It was yeah. wine. And then I came back out. And so, like, I, for the next six months, I kept drinking and drinking. And he was actually my boss this time over at All Def. And he almost had to fire me because I came in late on a shoot and shit. And then I finally was just like, all right, let me go. Get sober. So I haven't had a drink since November 22nd, 2017. Damn, bro. That's cr- yeah. 2017? 2017. Going on three years. Dang. Yeah. That, so, that went by fast. Yeah. Well, it's for me. I don't have to <laughs> personally struggle with that. I probably felt like that. So I least. like this. So you guys have a podcast where it was just started with you guys going back and forth about these things. And mm-hmm. you're this pious dude. Mm-hmm. And he's I wouldn't even say that. It's just Doughboy was really wilding and out. And Kev is, <laughs> I respect Kev because he's a religious person that doesn't put on airs, doesn't pretend to be holier than thou. Yeah. Right. He just God is the center of his life, and he don't you don't have to be like him. Right. If yeah. you want advice, he'll give it to you. That's How nice it. is that's that? Having right. God be the center. That's just yeah. the. I feel like I never heard it described that way, but that is literally <laughs> yeah. it. Like I feel like because I used to get I got so much crap for moving to L.A. That I remember one deacon was like, "You moving to the land of sinking sand?" You know, like there's <laughs> one that? other girl. That's what he said for real. One of the girls was like, "You moving to L.A.? That's just full of people who try to make it." And I was like, uh-huh. "Well, yeah. I mean, I don't." Yeah. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> that's, right. That's, yeah, but um. You know, so people would get mad because I would do comedy in comedy clubs. Like, how you, how can you do that and be around those people? Like, bro, right. like this is my job. Like, this is what I do for a living. I, I can't practice. There's no Christian comedy club. Right. If you want to be good at comedy, you have to practice in comedy clubs with drunks, get heckled. Otherwise, you're trash. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, have you done uh, it in churches before? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, hi, hi. I've done it in churches, colleges. Comedy. This new tour is all comedy clubs because the material is a little more risque for right. me. Mm-hmm. Uh, but churches, churches are the best venues ever they have great sound systems yes. they're not in the business of renting out their stuff so they're not like trying to get rich so they like me they're like man you we'll do it for free we'll give you volunteers they got crazy amount of seats great <laughs> parking like literally i was like this is this is fantastic <laughs> so my agent was like nah comedy club I was like nah church like a hundred percent of the door at the church how do they pay uh, they pass the bucket? What no, no. Nah, you feel right. <laughs> tickets. tickets. Oh, they sell tickets? Yeah, I sell tickets. And now, do you give 10%? Of to the, Jesus or anything? Of like the what personal ties? Yeah, yeah. How I do mean, you tie? He's saying my manager. 
<laughs> Jesus need to work that out with CAA. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus need to work that out with CAA. <laughs> Talk to my agent about that. Jesus. That's the thing that sucks about Asians, man. You you taking a, a worse deal. Like, and the club is a good deal. Mm. Like the door deal, 80% is a is a relatively good deal. Yeah. Then you gotta pay your agent. So you're getting like 70% of the door. Like that's yeah. that's a lot Ooh. to give away. Yeah. When you were getting a hundred percent at bigger venues. Yeah. So but but I but How also you fill it up. Now, because did you have a big following off the podcast or ADD to fill up? No. Because churches see a lot of people. Yeah, churches see a lot of people. So I had a lot of fans from like just my social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Uh, all Def gave me a lot of fans, but a lot of All Def fans don't buy tickets. They're 12. They're, they're like super young, <laughs> they're so they don't younger, buy tickets. Yeah, 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 yeah. They don't buy merch. They just Very engage young. with the content. Yeah, they too young to... Like something. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my oh, God. God. I didn't man. even hear it clearly. Come on, man. It came around the other Jeez. ear, and I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> So that's what he said. <laughs> but, um, oh, so I would man. say it's a lot of the... I, I started going viral doing church videos about the black church and stuff like that so yeah. it's pretty much that audience and then it's grown to the righteous ratchet audience the love our podcast it. audience i do with my wife i love so it. yeah i don't know why anybody would leave it nah it's there's this like weird maybe there's this weird pressure comics put ourselves we're like we want to make it in the traditional way to oh make it's this prestige it's so dumb right. like yeah. bro I, my, my agent was trying to get me to do the, go like there. theaters the theater deals are the worst deals they, ever. They're literally the worst. Deal. <laughs> they're literally like they're the worst fifth, deal. somewhere like fifty percent. Yeah. After like a huge, like seven, eight thousand dollar minimum, like this is literally the you know my agent was like, but the prestige, like bro, prestige don't pay no bill. Thank you. Hundred percent. <laughs> prestige 100% don't right. pay no bill. Yeah. The only Hughley reason you got to do it is for timing. Yeah. Mm. It's like I only have this much time in this place. There's no way I can get twenty five hundred people. In or you could if you can sell one hundred and fifty and up ticket prices, then it makes sense. Oh, that's mm. another thing. Yeah, yeah. If you, you can, can sell you big charge, tickets, exactly. Like you, you mean actually per ticket? Yeah, yeah. Some per ticket, they're selling a hundred dollars. I don't like to do like gouge the fan too much. With no, it, no, but no. I no, understand. No. Like if you're a guy like Jim Gaffigan, and like that's what you do for that's a living, what I'm talking about. Thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, like Chappelle or any of these guys. Yeah, but, like, but yeah, because you, you can't charge a hundred at the comedy club. It no, it's a little foul. Right. Absolutely not. But yeah, the theater thing. I feel like comics are so excited to do theaters because I feel like it. They feel like it validates them in some way. Yeah, yeah. It's like, bro, like, bro, it's a business first. The theaters also don't promote the clubs. Some a lot of clubs have return people they yeah. got people just coming because they like the club yeah, you yeah. know the theater is like bro you gotta sell every single ticket someone told me this i forget who told me that they were like if you're selling out clubs that don't mean you're gonna sell out theaters because the club has something built in they're like if you do a theater everybody that goes there is your yep fan mm. yes nobody goes why don't we go to the theater tonight? yes that's absolutely right. that's real talk yes right the comedy club, comedy the club they do. might do that yeah. they years, might just pull up right. except for years on the road that's how people came to see all yeah. of us i'm sure yes. no clue the fuck we were just mm -hmm. coming up anyway Boom. but you don't do that for a theater you nah. go to no. see a person you have to tell them yeah. you know yeah. what i'm saying absolutely. so it costs you a lot in marketing you know ad buys all that type of stuff so the clubs, I could do this forever. That's why Dale Hughley, them big people, they still be in the club. Hell yeah. As they sold out weekend four or five hundred seats. Uh, you're doing bro, fine. you're making 50, 60, 70 grand if you can sell out all those cities. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's big money. Yeah. That's big real money. money. Low, low, low uh uh work for you. They got people yeah. there working yeah. and the theaters, you gotta hire everybody in there. Yeah, and they're oh, a union, yeah, yeah. and there's no—you can't even negotiate. That's crazy. Like but when you I did show, bring your own people to run. This no, the, the the venue will be like you got to have Schultz four police the officers in New York, and we had to be out at the exact moment. Oh, they're not playing around with none of that stuff. That shit, they're not playing. You, they'll charge you crazy if you over. No grace. What? No, I ain't Say your grace you before you eat. <laughs> if you don't have a church, what do you do? If you don't, if anybody's like for Doughboy, you're a heathen. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Boy and I have talked about going on the road. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. Then you would I they would think start. I'm going to hell. They think Doe's going to hell. <laughs> Comedy <laughs> club off night. Yeah. That's off what I'm night doing is right the now. best that's way to get right in. Because yeah. if you can prove you can sell an off night full, then the club will look at you like, oh, snap, you sold a Sunday night out, Tuesday, mm. a Wednesday on your own. Like, and the comedy clubs aren't doing nothing. Like it's it's all gravy for them if, if you can actually sell. Um, other than that, you got to do non traditional venues, colleges, high schools. Well, then you run the risk of you know the quality of venue being completely different. Yeah, and you're people in the try to pay you in hot wings. And yeah, shit. we had that last year, bro. We had a show in Cincinnati. We were in high school. We got there super early. How racist is that? To try to pay you two and hop. <laughs> you know how that comes to, hey, man, you see the dough didn't really do what it was supposed oh, to do. Oh, the promoter? Yeah, I hate that shit. Don't come to me that conversation. I don't know. Nah, hell no. Nah. Yeah, but we were at a high school and the janitor was like, oh, man, we forgot y'all was even supposed to be here. Luckily, I was just at work. <laughs> but they didn't know how to turn the lights on. They didn't know how to work the soundboard. They was like, y'all can yeah. go in there. 
And I was like, like we don't know what? how to run a whole I got a contract. We're like, bro, we don't have it. So we went back there, turned the lights on, ran the soundboard ourselves, like literally had to do it like that. And that's why I was like, bro, we can't be doing that. People right. are paying their money. They're not really trying to eat. But the, the, the school is like 400 bucks. Because they don't care, but then you yeah, also the get that, there's yeah. nobody there because they're not a venue. You get what you pay for. Exactly. And your audience yeah. ain't trying to hear none of that. No. Nope. Right. They don't want to hear nothing. No, nope. yeah. The comedy clubs are really they're they're a perfect they're a perfect venue, man. For yeah. It's just they're a perfect venue. There's one thing that you change, obviously, which is the check drop. Mm. Yeah. You know, for That's, some reason yeah. the check gets dropped during the comedian's set. It's infuriating. It, I've never And it's usually it. the best part of your set. Yeah, son. Sometimes they'll drop it as soon as 15 minutes into the set because they want to stagger it throughout. Yeah. And the bad thing about, the nice thing about staggering is, or the idea is like, okay, the whole room won't be paying bills. Right. right. The right. shitty thing about staggering is, the whole room ends up paying bills. <laughs> right. Because this <laughs> one is finishing while well, this one's starting. Yeah. Right. Got 90% of the fucking room not paying any attention. And I under, I don't understand. I ask every single club I go to, I go, why do you guys drop it at the end? And none of, nobody has an answer. <laughs> It does really sound Nobody like a has a fucking system. It, and it's hard to get someone to laugh who's double checking Sorry. to right. make sure all right, oh, yeah. I ain't have no wings. What? <laughs> nah, nah. Hey man, hold up. My, hold up, my boy. <laughs> I don't have no wings. Like, bro, nothing's funny when your money's oh, messed yeah. up. Absolutely. Because you know, the people don't even want to pay the two items. Oh, yeah, they only do it because they have to. Bro, when, when you have like a group of six that are dividing uh, up a bill. <laughs> I didn't eat none of them nachos. I will not be putting it on that. <laughs> Bro, I've, I've almost stepped in and paid a bill. Like, okay, Shut please. Yeah, how, how much is $100? I'll pay so you guys don't have to do math anymore. That's the worst shit. Party. Might even be out if you know, that's what you got to do. Nigga, we've been there. <laughs> Stop acting like you was ready no, to but, even yeah, leave. Right. <laughs> it was like, oh, You want to pay for a meal too, bro? Bro, I paid for meal. You see this brace left? I want to feel like I got it. Shit. I should have had you hawk that shit for a fucking pretzel or whatever. Your boy would get excited about food, boy. <laughs> oh, you really? Still, I still do. Wait, Son. can you still eat? I can, but it's weird. Like, I can't eat too much. I'll throw up. It's it not was a weird. whole thing. It's a fucking surgery you got. I know, but no, but it was a lot. Yeah. Weird. The bypass did his job. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't really grasped the concept of that, though. Yeah, yo, was, tell him about your last supper before your bypass. Oh, I, it was a very epic day. Teddy was there. We ate everything. <laughs> Teddy's had, still thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it was the with last you, bro. supper. We, what all did we have? I think we had fish. Son, we Teddy had... said that shit like you're talking to old rock star about groupies. And <laughs> Tell him about that time you the took that old surgery. Oh, about that Man. lesbian bitches in Tennessee. Hot bro sliders, like Bob bro sliders. Yes. <laughs> we ate with a tray from two for Oh, we had we a oh, tray. We did do that. Oh yeah, we got the 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 fit, like the whole nugget tray. Me, it was just For me just and you and Ted? Yeah. And you was. Kiara was, was there too. That's my daughter. Yeah. Now, <laughs> you, you took part in it, but you weren't getting the surgery. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, you man, this is going to be different. Oh, and that's the crazy thing. I didn't, I was, I'm the worst candidate for the gas. I didn't do nothing right. They uh -huh. told me to talk to a therapist. I was like, black people don't oh, do that. Oh my yeah. god! So that's so I didn't do that. <laughs> yeah. They told me don't listen eat to that, Charlemagne. Hey, you can ask. You can ask Kev. <laughs> they told me certain foods not to eat. I was eating everything. Like I would literally go to lunch every day and try to eat food. Son, my... I remember we went on the road. Yeah. Lunch, you ate like could, two wings. Yeah. Threw I was like, I'll be right back. back. It's like my stomach will be sitting there waiting for me to put the food down here. We get down there, they'd be like, eh. <laughs> and just throw it out. I would throw. I would just. If Kev would always eat lunch because he knew I wasn't gonna finish my food, <laughs> but he never stopped ordering like he didn't have I a surgery. Like He's like, let going. me get three. <laughs> yeah, what you want, Kev? I'm good, man. He would wait till I was. I got like, five minutes. Order? Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> so he was like, you know, budgeting, eating off the shit that I wasn't gonna eat. So. Yeah, I, no I, boy's throwing a lot of food away. I've thrown a lot of food away. I threw away a lot, and and I was throwing up a lot, and then just the drinking. I thought like, okay, I can't eat, so I can't drink. That was a lie. I was absolutely able to drink. Okay, I so fifth a night. That's Jesus, seventeen shots. That's a lie. <laughs> that's a lie. Of alcohol, man. That's seventeen shots. No thirty-eight. No thirty-eight. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Don't Tennessee. wait forty-five. That got him a light buzz. No, but I was doing that when I was like two, like two eighty, two nine. Like I was still. And the thing is, when you get your stomach cut, me drinking a whole bottle is like a regular person drinking two. Right. I was a crazy. mess, man. But you hold on. These guys. So, I was a mess. so now your stomach. 
Now your stomach is still shrunk. But it grew back a little bit. So that's the thing people don't understand. Yeah. You can still gain weight yeah. back. So you, ain't no, you ain't no punk, bro. You're not going to stop it, bro. You're not going to let a little surgery uh, stop you. Uh, you still eat some food, dog. absolutely. You got to fight that. You got to get your stomach back to regular size, absolutely. dog. Absolutely. <laughs> I'll be doing cookie conditioning. Like, you know what I'm saying? I just eat cookie. <laughs> I eat two today, but tomorrow we going for three in this bitch. <laughs> for real, I ain't no quitter. Like, cookie that. conditioning? <laughs> <laughs> three more reps. <laughs> <laughs> for real. So, yeah. Oh. Oh, this is too good. <laughs> so that so somebody could get that surgery and then they get fat again completely. If they, they say really that leading on. cause of death in that surgery is suicide, because people will lose the weight, gain it back, and then feel so much shame and be like, "Man, that's uh, probably valid." It's, yeah, so it's like a that's real valid. mental thing that people go through, and then people, some people hate themselves how they look with the loose skin afterwards. Like that's another thing. Oh, that's yeah. where you got lucky. Uh, I got lucky. Some people, but people still say it to me. They be no, like, no, no, he has it. No, I, no, but it's not as bad as some people. Oh, I no, mean, I'm talking about your face. Some people's face. Some people's oh, face yeah, sinking. Yeah, yeah. Remember like, when Jonah Hill got skinny and he just looked like like a like a sponge? Yeah, remember him? He, yeah. I seen him the other day. He look like he's like at back at a cool size he for him. He looks great. Yeah, he I feel like he's great. not supposed to Bro, be. Bro, I, I was just about to say that. I think <laughs> certain people have a certain body type. Yeah, and that outside of that, to be skinny. are you saying no. that because you don't want to look? Absolutely. Great? <laughs> <laughs> the that fact that you bad. called me out on it, I don't appreciate that. <laughs> But when I be like, man, this is actually, I think this is what I should be. Yeah. I think this is what I should be. Yo, go to him. Yes, like I would, Jonah. Look, I would look sick. If I got to like Andrew size. You look sick. I would look sick. Hey, guess what? I look sick. <laughs> you think I look like the pinnacle of health? No. See, he looks like two different Wow. Yeah. I know, dog. I didn't even realize he got that small. But see, right. I have a yeah. theory about this. I feel he looks like. looks like HIV Wolverine. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> like, zoom in on that pic, Mark. Yeah. Look at him with that smoothie full of fucking red blood cells. <laughs> <laughs> I have a theory about people's they sizes. Look dead though. behind the eyes. Let me ask y'all this. I want y'all to answer this honestly because I believe you will. All right. Go. Have you both seen Bad Boys Three? Please tell me yes. Not no. yet. God dang it. I believe. Yeah. I, I I seen it. I thought it was trash. Oh, I believe he's he's. It. That's I believe why I the met theory Wilson, is Fat Martin ain't funny. I knew, yo, I believe this. Fat Martin comics. is not funny. He's a physical comedian that relied heavily, no pun intended, on the physicality. Yes, yeah. and it's like when he's not that, it's like. Eh. I feel like a, once you get to know a person and find a person funny, and once they if their body type changes, true. you're like, ooh, this is weird. This is this is definitely. I'm a fan of Friends. People clown me for that, but when Chandler got fat and, and fat. <laughs> 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 Hey, don't don't question my Chandler Bing love. <laughs> look at Buck. People would say like he looked like he was dressed up in Big Mama's he house. Does he does in the face, yeah. bro. Oh, and I'm not hating. <laughs> and I love Martin, so please, I hope I don't want Martin to see this and think I hate him. But I'm like, bro, the fat like Fat Martin, it just don't do it for me. Martin ain't been small in a while though. He ain't been really hit yo, with the jokes in a while. Holy shit! Yo. I'm, just, I'm just, I'm just for his level of comedy. <laughs> see, now I'm gonna sound like a hater. Bro, he nah, getting canceled next nah. year. I know. I, <laughs> no, no, no. Look I think at it. Oh my look! Come on, bro. I know they're funny like about that neck squirrel, man. Look at <laughs> Come look on. like a potato. <laughs> <Come> on. <laughs> <laughs> fat Martin, come on. Yeah, fat Martin don't look You ain't right. really laughing at Fat Martin like yeah. you're like Skinny Martin, bro. No, Skinny Martin was so good. Skinny Martin was not pull up Skinny Martin. Up skinny Martin. <laughs> you you gonna say he look funnier <laughs> just by the look? Nah, he looks funnier. Look at that. He, come on, he man. He definitely looks funnier, bro. Fat Martin is not the same. Dude. He's just not, he just doesn't go uh, like. It's so tragic. Man. No. <laughs> go back to Fat Martin again. Let's look at it. Yeah, look at that. That's him today. That's him right now, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I'm sorry, Fat Martin. What you talking? <laughs> Fat Martin is funny. Fat I'm Martin. sorry, Fat I'm Martin. Is funny. Fat Martin. <laughs> Calling him Fat Martin. <laughs> Address him. And I tried to watch it too. I'm like, I'm gonna give Fat Martin the benefit of the doubt. I was watching it like, man, shut up. <laughs> like, <laughs> so my man looks like you basted him. Like he always looks glowing, Dang. fat lips. He's, yeah. he's been through a lot. Yeah. Remember when Professor Clump was changing from sh the, skin yeah. to the fat one? Uh -huh. That's what Martin looks like. Like yeah. the hand just swole up and everything. <laughs> Are we? Is this is this a form of fat shaming? Yes, Absolutely. man. Fat don't you think fat podcast. shaming? Uh, yeah. uh, Akash is a is a fan of fat shaming. I'm a proponent. Oh yeah, of we did a whole shaming. episode yeah. when yeah. he fat shamed us. Fat. Yeah. Oh, he, he was. He didn't believe him. He had childhood obesity. You yeah. had childhood obesity, probably. And that's why. <laughs> How did you? Were your parents just letting you eat whatever you wanted? Yeah, man, they loved me too much, or not enough. One of the two. 
I think it was one of each. I think I had one each. <laughs> The confusion led to the great game. Like, just eat it or don't. I don't care. <laughs> Mom was like, no, you're great however you are on Dev. I was like, I don't give a fuck. What you want to do? <laughs> See, that was tough for me because I was the only fat person in my family. So oh, I used to no, think I was like, ah, I was like, Was man. it because you ate all the food? Yeah. yeah. Like, but, like, but you would just think, how come don't nobody else look like me here? Because you're, you're eating, eating all, all the food. food. Well, fuck that. <laughs> I was a growing boy. <laughs> you were 28. I used to always tell myself. <laughs> You have Son, don't. How old are you? 38? I'm 40. I just 40. hit 40. Don't look 40. Great, huh? Yes, man. Actually, it's good you lost it because then, yeah. then it starts being problematic. That's what right? that, like, that and, and, you know, all jokes aside, the, the number one thing was like, I was like, I don't really be seeing 300 pounds, 60 year olds. Facts. No. You know what I'm yep. saying? You don't yeah. really see 300 pounds, 70 year olds. Yeah. Like, you that's why I'm like, you got to live for your fat daughter. Fat don't travel well. So I was like, I got to get down to the point where I want to live. It travels, it just needs two seatbelts. Absolutely. <laughs> Yo, when I was in Japan, I was on a roller coaster and it wouldn't click. And they <laughs> brought out the extender. I was like, I'll walk home from Japan. <laughs> I would rather die with this thing not clicking <laughs> than you have to bring an extender out here. I would perish. I would, be, I would die before I let you put that on. So be like, we... I wrote it with the extender. <laughs> <laughs> clearly you wrote it. I clearly wrote it with the extended. I told myself it's because I was tall. Though. What but was the, more remarkable to, to them was that you were black or that you were that fat? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really get no black thing. Like everybody always says when you go overseas, black this, black that. I've been overseas a lot. I don't really get like also we live in America. Mm-hmm. It's hard being black here. Yeah. The police killing yeah, you. Nah, 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 nah. Nah. You, nah. I know Americans and I know Indians. Indians hate y'all more. Do they? For sure. Then white what? people? I don't know. <laughs> I don't. You mean Indian people in India? Yeah, we don't in even India? like dark Indians. You know what? Dark in point. every race is the worst. Except Filipino black dudes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. Dark skin black dudes get more love. That's than celebrities dudes, right? though. Right. Dark skin regular dudes. Wait, but Indians yeah. don't mess with black people. What? Alex, do you think you're light? Yeah, I'm in the middle. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm dark. Not, you're closer to, to dark skin. You're not, you're not dark. I am dark, dark. Yo, you, you're really? not you're dark. Darker again. than you. That don't mean you're dark. I'm not and that dark skin. Shut up. <laughs> Barely. That was a dark skin move right there. Right? That was, see, I got that the dark, dark skin, skin energy, bro. You might, dude. Exactly. That was. You saw he did that. Shut up. You all light skin back. Like, oh good. <laughs> you right. You right. So it's funny the that, ain't it funny that as soon as Charlemagne got light skin, he started talking about therapy and anxiety and all that shit. <laughs> Is that a coincidence? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Man, like, fuck all that. Dark skin, I feel my feelings now. I bet yeah. you do, Charlotte. <laughs> hey, let's take a break for a second, pay some bills. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, you can see that we're in yet another location. That's right. We're serving you looks this episode. You just type in Flagrant 2 on YouTube, and you can subscribe to the channel. But bill time. Maybe my favorite bill to pay, if I'm being honest with you, because it's the bill that keeps on paying. It pays everybody forward. That's right, it's Blue Chew. If you're new to the podcast and your dick game is at 80% once you get to 100%, if it's at 50% once you get to 100%, if it's at 100%, why don't you take it to 120%? Yeah, Blue Chew. Give your girl the night of her life. Give your wife the night of her life. Give that girl that you're nervous to take out on a date. You finally got her going on a date with you and she's ready to throw them down. She's been sending you pictures of her feet. The best type of nudes. If you're ready to do it, bluechew.com slash flagrant. Use the promo code flagrant. Use that promo code flagrant. All right? You're going to get free Blue Chew. All you got to do is pay $5 shipping. I mean, that might be the best deal in the entire world. $5 in shipping, free blue chew. You give the women in your life the night of their life. That's all I got to say about that. Promo code flagrant, bluechew.com. B-L-U-E-C-H-E-W dot com. Now let's get back to the show. Oh, by the way, same active ingredients. It's in Viagra or Cialis or any of these drugs. The exact same thing. Only it's chewable, so it goes twice as fast. That's right. You're not waiting around. It's in the system. Couple jumping jacks, that dick's going to hit your chin. 
Let's get back to the show. Bro, <laughs> that's an interesting ass point. So he you used to be DMX. <laughs> so it's difficult traveling as a black guy. It's not. not. It's not. It's not. Like, I don't feel like it's any more difficult than anything else being black. I don't I don't get a whole bunch more weird looks yeah. in Japan or Spain or Amsterdam or whatever than I get here. Like, we got the cops called on us at our studio twice. The first week we moved in. Right. And then, like, uh, maybe a month or two ago, we got kicked out for being black, basically. Yeah. What were you guys doing? We were playing spades, and cool. <laughs> <laughs> doing black stuff. But uh, one of the so the owner were they you had really it. playing spades. Yeah, yeah they play spades. That's yes. so funny. We, we were doing it on video though. That's yeah. how you break in the space. That's how you break in. We were space. doing it on video for World Star. <laughs> just a simple regular thing. So what did the cops say when they? Came? So both time the cop like literally one time the cops came. We were playing trouble. We played this game night thing on our channel. Yeah, we you got what you were looking for. <laughs> literally, literally. <laughs> Like that game. <laughs> yeah. So the cop was like super irritated that they had to even come out. White cop and Mexican cop. And they're like, man, I don't know, man. The lady downstairs called. They said they didn't know what's going on. Like we literally eating sandwiches and playing trouble. The first time we Are were arm saying wrestling. the word trouble a lot? No, like literally playing the game trouble. I know, but is, does that involve saying the word? Like maybe she just hears a few black guys up there like, yeah, you in trouble. Like, and then. Oh, were we saying the word <laughs> trouble? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. no. We weren't, we weren't saying the word trouble. <laughs> no, I'm going to get you. <laughs> it sounds threatening. Dude, playing a board game with your friends is frightening for a lady downstairs. <laughs> If you're black and loud, because we were like unapologetically black. Yeah. Like, you know, black, we just, we're loud, we're loud people. Yeah. We don't really do, that's why magicians love black people. We give the best reactions to magic. True. Whoa. We okay. be like, we have never seen yeah, magic. Ever. We've yeah, seen yeah. David Blaine. You don't be going to Simi Valley to do the magic. He go to Crenshaw. And black people like, oh my oh, God. Like, you yeah, see yeah. it. And then, oh, boo, boo, boo. Like, niggas shoot, start shooting dice. It's crazy. Yeah. It is crazy. To, like, y'all don't believe in anything except magic. Yeah. Like, black people. Like, black people like, I don't trust nobody. I don't trust white people. I don't trust the government. Did he put a quarter out of my ear? <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck you got that quarter, bro? This guy's crazy. Yo, uh, that is hilarious. He's really a magician, dog. <laughs> we really don't be voting. You don't, you don't do it vote. again. Do it again. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> but magic, bro. Magic got you, dude. Yeah. That's what Trump should bro. do. He should run on that. Yo. <laughs> Yo, black people. I'm bringing magic back to America. They're like, what? <laughs> no, Trump be that, doing magic. That might For my next trick, I'll be making these Mexicans disappear. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh my God! Tell me that ain't Houdini. You gotta yo. switch it to like M A G A C magic. <laughs> <laughs> Make America great again, cut. <laughs> <laughs> that was the weirdest thing I think about the Super Bowl for me was seeing a Donald Trump commercial. Oh, we were just talking about that. that Alex, yeah. so how, weird how conflicted to me. do you feel knowing he freed black people? I, that, that, I literally was like, because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know they, they set it up so Yo, sad, like it was a black person, like, uh. they didn't. Yeah, they didn't reveal it was Trump till the end. Nah, got so you, like, this is on board first, yeah. but then it's fucked up that they made the girl go eyes free. <laughs> like it was terrible. I was like, man, this is great. I just made that up right now. Yeah, yeah, absolutely did it. Oh, this, this is this it right here? No, no. that's not the one. Yo, this was the military the one. Pit. They had a, literally a black person one freeing prisoners, and then they had the like F sixteen one that was like, we love the military, support our troops one. Yeah, they like, know what they're doing. Super Bowl yeah. commercials ain't what they used to be. No more. Yeah, like I was did. like, this is what we're doing. Like I think yeah. that's because of the advent of the internet. We see so much funny stuff on the internet day to day. Yeah, we don't have to wait till once a year to be Dude, impressed. That's why SNL sucks. That's why late night sucks. Yes, we I, heard the joke already seven uh, times. Seven, by the time, time, time y'all really get to it, you're so late. You're done. Hey, wow. I also think, and you're just the end of the week. That's it. Wow. You're on Twitter, the, bro, I've laughed that more is, at Twitter. Okay, that, I don't. Go, you, this go, is flagrant too. Go. <laughs> The day that we uh, we killed the dude in Iran, I can't remember his name. Cause he, bruh, yeah. the the black Hilarious. Twitter, oh I Hilarious. I oh can't God. remember a time I laughed that hard. Hilarious. Saturday Night Live has not been that funny in twenty five years. What did they say on it? On the oh, oh, oh no, they didn't. I'm just saying, apparently, oh, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. bro, and it was just regular everyday people. Oh, right. right. uh, uh, black right. girls was like, I know we was talking about equality and stuff, but they talk about the draft, yeah, the yeah, draft. Yeah. We cooking. <laughs> it was them doing laundry, right. bro. It was just, it was <laughs> perfect, and it was because you shouldn't have been laughing and you still laughed. Yeah. Right. That's what yeah. made it funny. And then people are like, you shouldn't laugh. Like, obviously, this is like terrible in real life. Yeah, yeah. But that's that's great comedy. 
right. when you know you shouldn't laugh and it's funny anyway. Mm -hmm. But man, by the time that comes down in that live, I'm not staying up late for that. Uh, absolutely, because I was we was laughing in real time. Yeah. I mean, thinking back when we were at All Deaf, because back when we used to, like write sketches, like if something would happen topical, yeah. it was like a like a little system that happened to have like we have to write the sketch and it probably be like two or three days, right. and then it got to the point where it was like, okay, we're already too late. Now if you don't get it that day. It's not even no point. Somebody about shot it. on your phone the moment it happened. So to try to wait till Saturday, it's like, Forget bro, it. we've moved on. Forget it. I also think the yeah, Super Bowl commercials, back when we were kids, beer commercials had all the money and spent yes. all the money. And yeah. commercials were always funny. Yeah. Now it's a bunch of Silicon Valley dorks. Yep. I was just yeah, like. Yeah, nerds don't know what to do to make their brand funny. <laughs> the MC <laughs> Hammer commercial, I was just like. Yeah. Uh, what happened with Can't that touch one? this. He was, he was trying to dance. He was just dancing with the, I was just like, it was like, I had enough. I I didn't like any of the commercials. Like, I, oh. it wasn't none that really stuck out to me. I was just like, oh, Anthony Anderson and his mom was funny. That was probably the. Oh yeah, she was good. Yeah, she was. The last one was funny, where the 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 car parks itself or whatever. The it was oh, no, John no. Krasinski and two other actors from Boston. He has a Hyundai commercial, and they were just speaking in a Boston accent. Like, oh, I didn't see that one. It was yeah. a funny the car parks itself or whatever. Uh -huh. The car park, the park, the car. Like they just kept doing. All the shit in the yeah, yeah. and it was funny. Yeah. Stupid ass <laughs> yeah. accent. Revere, they mentioned Revere. They go, Revere. <laughs> There's what you know, like you have the times in your life where you laugh like the hardest. Mm -hmm. you know I mean? One of the hardest times in my life that I think I've ever laughed. And would yeah. you say the same? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're at Akash's apartment in Brooklyn, one of his first apartments Real when he hole. moved in the city. There were rats all over it. Ugh. He had a Chinese landlord that wouldn't talk to him. She just would say in her like thick Chinese accent the amount of money they owed left. Because <laughs> they would all pay the rent in different ways. So she would just walk up, she would, Akash, no, $400. No, she would, Akash, 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 Akash. And there was always the one roommate from Boston who was an alcoholic and a yeah. pathological liar would never, never pay. And she'd be like, Akash, where's step in? Step in, I need money. What's step in? Like, the thickest accent you. No, he lied. He lied. He lied. He lied, he lied. He lied. He lied to me. He's like, I don't know what to tell you. And he got my money. So, so we're over there, and uh, they were telling us about when they would play youth hockey. And youth hockey was a big thing in Boston. They were in mm. South Boston, like where yeah. his accent is from, right? Yeah. Like typical every Ben Affleck movie, like Southeast, <laughs> South Boston. Right? And uh, when in in in. In South Boston, when the kids would play hockey, the whole city would come out, or the whole mm. town would come out. So yeah. it was like this full stadium. And uh, what? Where were they? They were playing Revere. They were playing Revere, which is another city. Got it. Right. And they heckled the kids. These are five-year-old kids. They were heckling Boy, children. The, the, the adults heckling, are the heckling. Adults are heckling the children. And they have songs like in soccer. You know how like the yeah, whole yeah, yeah, yeah. Songs. They have a chant, and one of the chants went like this: "Go, who is from Revere?" <laughs> All quiz. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Who's from Revere? A lot of quiz. <laughs> <laughs> At a youth hockey game? Five to children? Five year olds so the whole stadium. <laughs> Who's from Revere? <laughs> All <laughs> quiz. <laughs> Who's from Revere? <laughs> A lot, a lot of quiz. Of quiz. Oh, really? It don't even make sense <laughs> rhythmically. <laughs> you don't have the same syllables. Now, <laughs> bro, Yo, we wow. cried laughing at that shit, dude. <laughs> oh my god! These little five year olds. What's a quiz? <laughs> you and your teammates. <laughs> <laughs> God dog. That's a rough upbringing. Jeez. To take that at five. Boston is the white hood. Yo. Is the oh, white hood. oh, bro. That's, That's why those motherfuckers are so funny, though, dude. Yeah. All the funniest comics come Oh, yeah. Boston, man. <laughs> Bill Brandon Burr's H. special. Bill Burr had a good special. Oh, his last oh, one. I was like, oh, man, you really. He ripped You it. are good at this. Yeah. He's like, sometimes you see comics, even though you do comedy, you see somebody else is like, this must be what it feels like to watch LeBron yes. and you're in the NBA. Like, yes. I'm also playing this sport, but not at the level you're playing. <laughs> <laughs> like, you might even be an all-star, but when LeBron's at his level, you're like, like this, this is to LeBron, man. He should be in the league. <laughs> 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 this dude is a machine. Like, he's not supposed to be this good at year 17. Yeah. You're not supposed to be this good still. He's supposed to be posting people up by now. He's like, nah, bro, I'm going to play the same way. that happening? The, the it's the millions of dollars older. he spends on his body every year. Yo, real talk. It's the investment, he man. Spends he spends dollars. millions of dollars every, I mean, the best trainer, food, hyperbaric treatment, literally everything you could possibly do. But then why didn't his peers do the same thing? Because the people that he got drafted with they're stupid. are not like in the same type of bro, shape but like, stuff I mean, think None about None of them are still playing. Boss, retired. Bro. Wade. Wade. Who else won that draft? 
Uh, Carmelo. Darko Milicic. Car- Carmelo retired. Car- Carmelo, Carmelo back. Carmelo back. Yeah, uh, Darko. He was never anything. Everybody yeah. in that draft is gone or done. And he's just still playing. He's playing at a high Tom level. Tom Brady, 42, talking about he's going to come back. Because those he guys, are, their focus, their discipline is different. It's different. That's the thing. Like you, Y'all playing the same sport, but you're not doing it the same way. Mm. That's the thing. I think you find out what you want once you get there. Like Some people, they just want pussy. They just want fame. Like, I think a lot of guys get to the NBA, and yes. that's just their goal mm. to mm. get there. Yeah. And then they're in Joe it. Johnson. Listen, y'all want me to win championships, bro. I'm just <laughs> trying to get paid. Let me get like, what, are you, what is so hard to understand about that? I don't care about championships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to go to the playoff. Yeah. Trade me to, he would get good. The team would get good and be like, all right, trade me to somebody. They, yeah. they're, they're becoming contenders. Trade me to a non <laughs> Then he went to the big yeah. three. You're like, oh, this is more my speed. Oh, he's not even in the league no now more? he came back to the league now because he, he was hooping the big three. Or is he in the league? I think he got signed. Uh, I don't think he's playing now. I think he got signed for a little bit. He was like a top 10 player. He was nice. He had a massive contract. Bro, he Eighty-four million. He yeah. left the Suns. Got eighty-four million. He got and paid big time. Like I remember, he times. would be like he'd be he'd be released and he'd be that guy that's like in the middle of the season. You can after they're bought out, you can pick him up and he would just never go to the best team. He'd always just go to yes. a, a get decent the team, losing the first second round, be out, bro, and chilling. Be. They, they, they said that about I guess Chris Paul and they was like asking him like would he like take less to go like to a contender? He was like nope. Bro. Oklahoma City, <laughs> where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I, I he can wave his. Bro, like, the thing is, chasing <laughs> rings like it creates your Kevin Durant. Like yeah. that, the Kevin Durant example is like, oh, forget you. Like this, but you the can't win. Is Kevin Durant could have been the best player in the league. Chris Paul, right now, no, you're never going to be the best player in the league. True, ever. This yeah. is done. You're That's past your true. prime. Go get a ring. Contribute. Nobody knocks Gary Payton. No, he got a ring when he was on the Heat when he couldn't do it on his own. He tried to do it on the Heat. Chris Paul did yeah. that. I would respect Lakers. him going to the Shit, he went to the Lakers and the Heat. Yeah. If you were chasing that ring, call, people don't mind you chasing Malone. your ring when you're past your prime. It's yes. chasing your ring early yes. that we don't like. Yeah, you like, you like got to. Like Garnett, too. He chased yes. for the yeah. all Timberwolves thing. Fan mentality is crazy. There's certain narr- it. It's because certain narratives make sense. But why is that? Like, if you were in a position and you're a professional athlete and you can leave a situation from a bad team and go to a good one, why wouldn't that be celebrated? I don't mind you going to a good team personally i mind you going to the best team yeah mm. if you go to a good team because your management sucks like lebron leaving cleveland the first time you should have left right yeah they listen to you too much quite frankly you need an organization <laughs> not to listen to you guys. <laughs> but going to miami to be with the second best player in the league and then bring bringing chris paul who's another top five, 10 player or whatever it's like that's too much if you went to the bulls i'd been like all right respect we didn't know derrick rose was gonna be that good yeah. just a good team right. so you always want to root for david that's the, the the Warriors are a perfect example. When they were scrappy, we loved them. When they got good, we we're like, all right, we hate y'all now. They Fuck felt like same the thing Lions, the Patriots. Bro. Fuck the yeah. Lions, Everybody man. is sticking it to them too this year. They're not gonna make the all stars. They're yeah, trying to, yeah, they're, t- they're, they're, oh, trying they're to taking, do what the Spurs did with Tim Duncan. Any team that trades to take on Knicks players, they're trying to <laughs> make it. Like, you're not committed to victory, bro. If you are calling the Knicks like who you got <laughs> You were competing for a lottery pick, man. That's hilarious. They, they, you, try, you see they're trying to make the deal. They're trying trade? to make that with D'Angelo Russell, right? But do you know how crazy uh, that is? They're trying to yeah. move D'Angelo Russell? Yeah. That's what I heard. Well, the Knicks are going to give them everything. It's just... This is a team that two years ago was like the one of the biggest dynasties ever, and now they could be a lottery team? But that's because that, that way they, want, they get they the good picks. They yeah. got Clay coming back next year. They got Steph coming back next year. Bro, it's and perfect. It's a, a smart move. Pick. It's the Spurs. Right back in you the remember game. when when yeah. Dave Robinson broke his ankle yeah. or foot and they got Tim Duncan? Yeah. yeah. They literally ran that for 20 years. Yeah. It's the best position to be in. Yeah. yeah. There is it's no Duncan now, right now. Yeah, but I mean, they were going to lose regardless, so you might as well completely lose and get a lottery pick. Yo, y'all heard this shit about Kawhi? Oh, the strip club and New Balance hoodie on? Nah, not the strip club thing. That's hilarious. Yeah. Though. I did see that video. And he was so kawaii with the money. He, he, so, uh, he, he, he made the strip club the, uh, the, the, the a, least uh, interesting. Dog, he's like Eeyore. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? It's like, can you get excited about anything? You got pussy in your face. He, he don't even get excited about excited basketball. About? It's crazy. When man. they won the championship, you're like, bro, you won. He's yeah, like, yeah. yeah. I He's think, the blackest I think, Russian I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> he is. Perfectly there. <laughs> but apparently, um, apparently there's some beef. Someone was explaining some beef about, um, about practices because he lives in San Diego. And he helicopters, RIP Kobe, right. but he helicopters to the Clippers facility. And so if there's bad weather and shit, the practice got to be moved around him. And it's causing some issues. I heard Absolutely. about that. Yeah. Him and Paul George were getting preferential treatment. Listen, bro. Get get with it. You need to get preferential treatment. No. If no, I, no, no yes. No. Listen, the world, 
The world doesn't care if you're not the best. Okay. The people who are the best get life easier. Be but, the best so you can get it. But what do you say to those other 11? You are 12? not Kawhi. <laughs> That's what you, so you say, Little League. Them, so you expect them to put their bodies and, and their yes. livelihood on the on the line yes. every night while this guy just gets to That's be home valid. chilling? Absolutely. Fuck That's that. Valid. Yes. I would not want to play with that guy. Absolutely. Yeah, but then come playoffs. When they were Kawhi, supposed to be brothers in the trenches? We're not supposed to be brothers, so, though. When it's playoffs and there's <laughs> three minutes left and you giving the ball to Kawhi every single possession, you're not like, yo, we brothers, aren't we? But, right? You're going, where, how do I give you the ball and get out the way? <laughs> exactly. Right? So... But, you got to do the work during the season. He takes you to promised land uh, uh, in the playoffs. I think, I think it's, it's wild I think to live in San Diego, but generally speaking, I think that's terrible. Best players get the preference. You don't I think, think LeBron gets preferential treatment? I, but, but guys, he be taking off games. Absolutely. But are you giving up them game checks? I doubt it. No. Uh, so you want to get paid and not play? But listen, this is what happens though. Because the you Raptors can still win, win though. With him. The Raptors win. The, the Raptors let him do all that, and it and he left, and they weren't even mad. And I think that that's the worst thing that and can happen key, to the NBA because Ra- now Raptors got the third best record in the league. And right they balling again. It's yeah. kind of crazy. Yeah. Really? Yes. Well, I shouldn't have left, I don't think. But they still want to change. If he took games off and then they don't win, now you got to start answering but the, questions. I just don't see how you how that's a sustainable model for a sports franchise or even sports because how do you make all the other 80% of the guys that aren't mega stars buy into that? Because Again, somebody else LeBron will fan. come play. Nah, Real quick. You know what it is. Go, go. You're I a LeBron you. fan. Uh-huh. LeBron yeah. got ready. He was ready to get rid of everyone on the Lakers for Anthony Davis. Mm-hmm. Didn't happen. His teammates were mad at him. What the fuck you really going to do? <laughs> we're going to make this trade in the offseason. And are you mad at LeBron for getting AD? Or are they a much better yeah, team? Yeah, LeBron is like the airlines. We lost your bag. What you finna do about it? <laughs> <laughs> you got Your flight's canceled. What you finna walk? Shut up. We'll put you on the next flight when we put you on the next flight. We be mad at me like, nigga, shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> you, remember we're in Amsterdam? What you gonna do? You they left like an hour late Amsterdam? and they didn't even say nothing. It was, yeah. like, was just at the gate like, we'll leave when we leave. Yeah. He went up and asked like, when we gonna leave? When we say we're boarding. <laughs> so and you're like, what you, what you gonna do? <laughs> nothing. There's shut nothing, up. Just nothing. It's, a, it's a boat outside. <laughs> you ain't finna do do nothing. <laughs> be as mad as you gonna be. You ain't finna do nothing. That's gotta suck, though. You, you can't whoop LeBron either. Yeah. Like, what you? Do you what see LeBron play football? Oh yes. Yeah, the Lakers thing. Uh. This dude looks like a cyborg. Yeah. Yeah. He looked like he could Bro. go to the NFL right now yes. and be a tight end and go to the Pro Bowl. And there's only one guy we've seen put the clamps on LeBron. And it's Kawhi. Yeah. So what you gonna tell Kawhi? <laughs> I think it's bad for the league. And I, I'm telling you, I, 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 this, I will make a prediction here on your show. I think that attitude is what's gonna stop the Clippers from being successful in the postseason Dope. because That's you cannot manufacture. You energy. know what? You, you know can't what? manufacture. You know energy. what's never worked for the Clippers in the postseason? What? Being the Clippers. <laughs> <laughs> they gotta do something different. <laughs> when have they even made it to the conference finals ever? No, nah. they have. They didn't make it no noise. Like just last year, they had Lob City. What, what happened to Lob City? Nothing. They went to Nothing. Detroit and Oklahoma. City. They lost as a team and they got traded as a team. <laughs> True, <laughs> bro. The funniest thing I know we passed that, but when LeBron tried to trade everybody, they didn't get traded. He was just like, <laughs> well, <laughs> he, was, he didn't even apologize. Yeah, he was bro. like, it's AD, Suck, and then bro. he got him in the summer. Yeah, man. And now yeah. you got to move to New Orleans. Lonzo, what you going to do? Nothing. Nothing. Pack your bags, boy. Man, I think basketball is the only sport like that where one person can have that much yes. say over things. Quarterbacks, kind of, but basketball right. still different. Kind of in Premier League soccer, they have that type of... Oh, you're talking yeah, about yeah, the yeah, Premier yeah. League soccer, they have that, yeah, yeah. that type of impact, too. Just, that, just one person being... I, Maybe the quarterback. Tom Brady has you know, that type of power. You know why? Because one person can change the game in basketball. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Even one person can change. And he yeah. plays both sides of the ball. Bro. Yeah, it's a hundred. He still has fucking cornrows. Why does he have Who? that? Who? Kawhi. 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 Yeah, Kawhi. I'm just, why does he still have him cornrows? and Pusha T? I, like you don't, but you, you don't, don't play with either one of those dudes. <laughs> like y'all really ain't highly see, dangerous. Like we've been past those hairstyles for a good <laughs> a fifteen long, years. He's just wearing it like it's a normal <laughs> yo, thing. Like what are you doing? Yo, that's doing? the mark of a black sociopath. <laughs> Cornrows. For real. You got no feelings for anyone if you black and you got cornrows. I got no remorse. In twenty twenty. I got no nothing. Bruh, Kawhi yeah. don't have no designs either. Oh, just, straight straight back, back, just straight back. Just straight back. No personality. Mm, with, a, with a weird laugh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he laughs like a serial killer. I'm telling you, bro. God gives people too much basketball talent. He gives them nothing else. Yes. He has no, no other personality, personality thing. Yes. He probably can't read or write like, I don't need you to do that. <laughs> Yo, I need you to ask, dunk. Is that Play. wrong to say that 
if if it came out that Kawhi was illiterate, I'd be like, mm. <laughs> right? They say that about Michael Jordan. Like, you ever heard no. him talk on a mic? The well, proof Michael is Jordan. the ceiling. Not that he's illiterate, <laughs> but like they low key imply that he's not that intelligent. But he be hooping. Is that though. true? Yeah, you ain't. You remember Kendrick Lamar no, saying I'm Michael Jordan, Jordan on the mic? Out jeans. <laughs> Have you seen this? Yeah, he got a billion dollars. That's gonna what? break my heart. Michael bro. Jordan's jeans. Oh, his suit, his suit game is gone. He's still wearing hoop earrings too. He got the, the jaundiced eyes. <laughs> no, he like Michael Jordan was fully fucking retarded <laughs> <laughs> this whole time. He's this genius. Oh my god, player. yo! But he's what is he doing? Why, retarded, bro? Why? He looks like one of them housing dancers. Like he's like a house, and like he's gonna do a Russian kick. That is ridiculous. Oh my Michael God. Jordan probably got 18 on the SATs. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he went for dress. 25 and 20 that night. Bro, what is he doing? <laughs> Bro. What is he doing? <laughs> that is ridiculous. Bro, he's low-key like the history of Michael Jordan. Remember his Hall of Fame speech? And he was like, yeah, remember that dude from third grade? Yeah. 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 We're like, Bro, he's he's like, like, you got to let that go. I, I didn't mind the speech. I didn't mind the speech, but... Yeah. Do you like that speech where he brought the guy? Yeah, man. You sound so white on this podcast. Bro. No. But you can't put one player ahead of the whole team. What kind of precedent does that set for the league? I don't know why Michael Jordan can't be more humble like Larry Bird. John Stockton. Now there's a player. That's a guy who understood the team. <laughs> He was hardworking and scrappy. They, no black players are ever described as scrappy. That's only white receivers. Uh, yeah, he's yeah. scrappy. That's how you know how trash Patrick Beverly is, yo. <laughs> All his compliments are for white players, right? Man, that guy tries hard on defense. <laughs> Have you seen that? Never. He's not afraid of getting there and do the dirty work. He's not afraid to do the dirty work. describing Patrick Beverly or Wes Welker. <laughs> Yo, Belichick's waiting for him to retire like I could do something like that. <laughs> that Patrick Beverly guy. <laughs> All right, we're going to stop. Pay some bills real quick. This is actually really important. If any of you listening right now um, have a business where you're selling things online, I don't care if they're uh, cards, sneakers, things that you yourself uh, make, you're using Amazon, Etsy. I don't care what shipping service you're using, FedEx, UPS, etc. There's a way to better organize this system, treat it like a real business so you can keep track of every single order that you have going out, know where they're going, know when it's arrived, know everything that's going uh, on with your business, and that is using ShipStation.com. ShipStation.com, it keeps track of every single order. You can use FedEx, you can use UPS, you can use all these different shipping brands, um, and you can do it through all the different websites, various websites that you're selling your products from. It just organizes everything that you have. So you have it on one interface. You know where everything is. And hey, you have a real fucking business that way. All right? You're not just getting stickers all around your apartment. You're throwing on random boxes. Orders are getting lost, etc. This is the real deal. And... If you don't believe me, why don't you just try it for free? You go to ShipStation.com, use the promo code FLAGRANT, and you get 60 days for free. Free trial. If it helps your business, helps organize your business in any way, shape, or form, it helps organize that side hustle that you got going in any way, shape, or form, and you, and you like it, then use it. Simple as that. We're giving you a free trial offer because we believe in it. That's how much the company believes in itself as well. Free trial offer. ShipStation.com. S-H-I-P. Station.com. Uh, use the promo code flagrant and take your business to the next level. Make ship happen. Huh? Huh? All right, let's get back to the show. <laughs> shit, uh, Kasha had that voice in him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, every race can make white people voices perfectly. Absolutely. Yes. White people cannot do a black voice good. They always say, yo, 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 yo. What is, why is it always yo, dog? How do you do a good black voice? What's a good black voice? I have no idea. Um... I don't know why it's so hard for other races to get it. Like, they can get, like, Barack Obama's voice. Right. But not average black dude voice. What's average black dude voice? Hit it. What up, yo? It's your boy, Kev. We out here. <laughs> you feel me? Could be whatever, Kev. <laughs> Finna get after this hummus. <laughs> <laughs> yo, black people aren't the hummus, bro. We, we, lo- love, we love, we love we hummus love now. So we love, love, love hummus now. It's like one person's like, yo, hummus cool, bro. <laughs> I don't cool know if y'all heard. Hummus is... I 
had hummus today. <laughs> with pretzels? I'm like, yeah, cuz. <laughs> you said, yeah, cuz. Oh, Sabra, the roasted red pepper with the little red peppers in the middle? Bruh. Back the stallion on hummus. Yo. G E Yo. put on that. Oh, oh black people were away. having a rough day today. G Easy was kissing Meg the Stallion. That just felt weird. Oh, bro. Yeah. You know what it looked like? You'd know. ever seen like a puppy suck on its mom's nipples? <laughs> To try to get milk, you know, the mom's just laid over the side. The puppy's just what you gonna get. Hurry up. <laughs> look at even the way he kissed her. He's it like, looks so, so weird. weird. It did not look believable. <laughs> Somebody Bro, on the Twitter said it that looked that like. One discolored ass puppy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this one ain't gonna get run, adopted. The run, like, hold on. Yeah, the video nothing about that video was. Uh, I didn't watch the video. Man, that shit is too funny, bro. Broke my heart. It did? Uh, uh, I'm going to tell go. you, there's a huge double standard, though. He does look like a puppy on the teeth. <laughs> look, look at him trying to get some. <laughs> now I can't see it's it. It's the run no, of the litter. Yeah, Jeez, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, you look like you're trying to make up for his lips not being big. <laughs> He's got a double lip. This is how black people get. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he didn't even yeah. grab the cheeks. Oh, <laughs> he was geez. right there. Come on, son. Oh, Go back to that. Have you seen him gimp up at the fuck? Come on, G. We share a face. You got to do better. <laughs> Y'all do got similar better, looks. Yo. You got uh, both of our reputations. He's too happy to be line, there, dog. man. You, you know Schultz, you would have grabbed cheeks. <laughs> you know Schultz, you would... I don't know what that move yeah, is. I don't right like there. this. Yeah. Well, and let me move on. Oh, no! oh, come on, fam. Oh, come he looked like a magnet. Yeah, you know, I don't, on, I'm respectful of Dude, that. That was nah, crazy, man. bro. Uh, can't go full palsy. He was, <laughs> What's that? Who's that? That's Meg the Stallion's PR team posted that. Or not the PR team, they're uh, her fan club. <laughs> posted that meme that meme after the video came out. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh snap. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, it was a good day, man. How tall is Meg? Five ten, I think. One eighty. She was six two. Nah. She just she uh, yeah. Uh, Meg the Stallion is probably the most fitting rap name for how really? she looks. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Like a male horse? No. Teddy's right because a stallion is, is a old. male horse and a filly is a female horse. But a filly don't have the same ring like, man, that girl's a filly. That yeah. just don't sound right. Make the that filly ain't going to really hit like that. <laughs> Make the stallion, you know exactly what she's trying to do. You know, in the cross. South, a stallion nah, is like, that girl's a thoroughbred. Or she a yeah. stallion. Yeah, but if it's, you know it's a dude, you should know that in the South. Now all of a sudden it's even mad gay. Nah. <laughs> Wait, what's going on? People don't be the knowing the sex in the name horse, of the horse. Calling a girl a stallion. Kev, you a stallion? Huh? You call Kev a stallion? Kev, you a stallion? You know Kev, I mean? are you a stallion? Bro? <laughs> <laughs> Kev, are you a stallion or Kev a Kev the stallion? <laughs> Kev the stallion ain't selling no merch. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Kev the stallion could kind of go. It's dude. just the same letters Kev as men. Kev the stallion, Kosh the pony. That's what I said. <laughs> I'm the world's smallest horse. You, you, like, the, you like the donkey that fucking the guy with Don Quixote rode with? What the fuck is his name? <laughs> I'm a mule out this bitch. <laughs> Bro, Kev the Stallion. That might Kev be the Stallion. Kev the Stallion has a ring to it. I'm not gonna, it's not going to leave this room, but. No, you don't think Kev the Stallion could go? No, absolutely not. You know not. we got a lot of crossover fans. They're going to be they're gonna be in your comments calling you Kev the Stallion. I hope not. <laughs> that, if that becomes a thing, I'm going to be livid. No, <laughs> Kev the Stallion, bro. I think you got That's it. You know like Kev married because he can't even give himself a compliment because he knows his wife can be. Oh like, man! Now you not no fucking stallion. <laughs> you think that she would say that? Would she? No, nah, my, she she's very protective of my delicate ego. Mm. Okay, so yeah, she supports she, it. She supports it. She yeah. she she um massages my ego. Does mm. she? Yeah, she she makes me feel what I need to feel to do what I got to do. Oh, because man, I'm gonna tell you, comic to comic to comic. And you're probably going to suffer from this, or maybe you don't. I don't know. But three, three years, this is my third tour coming up, right? With very little time in between. And this time I took like three months off before this one. So I went up, because me and Dover were on the road together. 
and he was he was taking his shirt off, so he was giving me the best alley oop. The crowd was lit, <laughs> right? So I went to Tahir show, no Doughboy intro. You talk about crickets in the audience. They're like, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so my confidence was trash. So my question to y'all is, what what do y'all do when y'all have a set or a couple bad sets in a row, and you like, am I funny anymore? Like the podcast and stuff, like, oh, that's cool. But yeah. if you ain't funny on stage, it starts to mess with your whole funny psyche. Mm. Like I don't know if I could be funny anymore. Period. I'm be honest with you, never happened. <laughs> Listen, they call me Andrew the Stallion for a reason, dog. Show me that he's out of the hotel. I have no idea what you're talking about. I can't relate. I'm I can't hilarious. hilarious. I'm never not hilarious. Don't know how to relate now. <laughs> now nah, you know what? You know it's nice. What I'll say is this: is like. Are you doing a lot of spots in the city? I'm teasing, obviously. We in LA, yeah. Sets. yeah. I think that's what keeps you on your P's and Q's and what keeps you humble because it's like when you go to the club, those people a lot of times aren't there for you, so you get to yes. perform for these people who don't know you or don't think you're as funny mm, yeah, as yeah, yeah, your yeah, fans yeah. do. So then you get that reality check during the week, and then you go on tour on the weekends, and as long as those things match up, you're like, all right, bet, I'm funny. That's true. So you're saying it's better, better in that sense to not even set up like your own shows, just go... Just do like drop ins. Like, I'm just do a set. Yeah, Drew both. Okay. But uh, but yeah. I do firmly believe like you're supposed to find your audience. Yeah. I don't think like absolutely. I think we're supposed to be able to make everyone laugh in the beginning of our career, because that's how you make a living. But once you find your crowd that finds you funny, you don't owe it to people who are not them to make them laugh. Oh, I that's love Tyler that. Perry. I that's what that we're approach. talking about. Yeah. Yeah, so somebody was at my truth. show was like, like, "Yo, I I thought Doughboy was hilarious, uh, Tony, and to hear, but I didn't get Kev's thing. Like that's it's a whole bunch of black you. church thing, <laughs> and I respect that. Like your yeah. whole point is to find your pe- like y'all's brand of humor. That's it. Is y'all's brand. Like a lot of people will be like, "Oh, it's offensive," but the people who like it, mm. like that's the thing that happened with Ari Shafir. He mm. he greatly underestimated what happens when you go outside of your fan base yeah. on the internet because mm. he yeah. was trying to explain it to people who was like nah this is the about that yeah. i never that heard of you because i want like yeah. people wanted to fight him straight up yeah. like a lot of comics and nobody's trying to understand that so that's a good point like I, it was a drop-in set that i did yeah. that was just like completely mediocre that yeah. was kind of like a shell shock but at the same time that type of stuff I always find that I find more funny material when I have a bad set because yeah, you're really scrambling to like, well, that didn't hit. Yeah. Well, let me try something. But like, if you're having a good set, you're just going to go with what works. A bad set before an important set, to me, used to freak me the fuck out. And now I'm like, you know what? I got that out of the way. And now I'm focused now again. I'm hungry. Yeah, yeah. Get it, yeah. And I would go, it's knock on wood, it's been a while since I had like, but I would go through like phases where I'm like, I'm like a month, two months, sometimes longer. I'm like, I don't think I'm funny. I'm not doing that great. Yeah. And you know what would help me the most is when I would host because then you're just doing crowd work. You can't mm. overthink everything. Yeah. It's just listen, respond. Yeah. Listen, respond. Yeah. And you do that, if you do that enough, you're like, oh, fuck, I'm funny. Yeah, <laughs> you're funny when you're out, when I, without even trying. Right. That's it. If I don't overthink it, I'm funny. Yeah. You know, sometimes you can get addicted to the kill. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Like That's probably what happened. He was getting standing O's every nah, show on get, tour. And then, and then it's like, you start going, well, if I don't get mm-hmm. a standing O, I'm not funny. Mm-hmm. And then when... And then you get into that room. The room could be smaller, all these types of things. But what I notice often with the addicted to the kill thing is it stops being about the material. It stops being about the thing you love, which is creating. It's just about the reaction. Yeah. And then you go and you Solid don't get that point. reaction and you feel horrible. At least me, you'll feel horrible because you forgot that you really just like telling those jokes in the first place. Yeah. Like sometimes for me, the point of the joke is to make a crowd groan. Or Absolutely. Like Some jokes are not designed. Like sometimes it's trying. It's to mess with you. It's, it's the fuck. With and you there ain't no punchline. You got to sit in that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's like I want to find out who really wants to go there with me. Right. Like, it's a joke. But I, yeah, I noticed that early in my career. Like if I was addicted to the kill, the second I didn't have as good a set, I was like, oh man, this really fucking sucks. And when I was addicted to the jokes. I would enjoy even bad sets because I'd be like, I ah, know I could do something with that line. Yeah. I'm experimenting. Oh, you know what right. I mean? Yeah. I remember early on, I was trying to impress some comic who came to the Village Lantern. It wasn't, in retrospect, the guy was nobody, but right. I didn't have a good set. And then our, our homie Case Rosso said to me, the problem was you focused on killing instead of focusing on having fun. Yeah. Mm. When you, you forgot to have fun. If you have yeah. fun, you're good. Yeah. Oh, God, fine. Yeah. That's probably the same thing with sports. Like, you get to the Super Bowl, you're like, bro, I'm going to try to do... That's what Don McNabb said. He was like, man, I was trying to do too much. Yeah. Like, my, if I would have just played how I normally play, yeah. we would have won. But it was a Super Bowl. I'm trying to make throws I don't normally make. I'm all out of my comfort zone. Mm. And now I'm trash. Yeah. And you don't get that back. You, like, don't. you know how many times it happens in the NFL? I saw a picture of the, the 40... Uh, not the 49ers. The Panthers. Yeah. And they had Cam Olsen, like, yeah. Thomas Davidson. Like, uh, no they had that one season. Right. 
It's a it's a picture of all their captains. Luke Keek. Yeah. Oh Cam yeah. Newton. That uh, season, so they were funny. freaking steamrolling people. Over people. people. You couldn't do anything with them. They lost that Super Bowl and they've never recovered. Uh, and Cam nobody probably won't be back anymore. next year. And no, Luke just Cam. retired. And Cam might not even be He's on that not team. Be back next uh, year. Yeah. yeah. That's just crazy. Rosen broke his foot like three years in a row. Like they just released him. Did they? Yes, like yesterday. That's the thing that annoys me. We uh, we spoke about the Super Bowl very briefly, but like, there's all these articles every time a team loses the Super Bowl. Oh, they're built for the future. They're probably not. They're not though. Yeah, Everything is so, so short in the NFL. It takes bruh. so much luck to get to the Super Bowl. Everything got to break the right right way. You could come back, but it, it's, it's highly unlikely. Not. I don't know how, how in depth y'all went into this, but why in the hell did the 49ers stop running the ball yesterday in the Super Bowl? We didn't go in depth, and that I what think the I fuck? think like, I think what happened. Why? Was, <laughs> my my assumption was like you go down, you got to score quick, and okay. you know you're down two possessions. Yep. Right. You're down. What were they down? 10? 20 to 10. 20 to 10. Yeah. Twenty so to ten. Once you're down ten, you know it's two possess or it's it's two it's two two scores. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So now you have to throw. The Chiefs, though. He threw no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Niners I'm saying, were up. The Niners were and up, they and they could have up. ran the ball to run out the clock. Oh, and I they thought you were saying when they were it. trying to come back. No, no, no. Oh, no. I'm talking okay. about why did the Niners get away from what was working the whole game, hmm. was running the ball the last six minutes. You get the ball back, you're up 10, and then you go three and out where the kick's trying to throw the ball. Like So there's a couple things I really questioned with Shanahan that other people are questioning. Okay. Number one, at the end of the first half, it's 10 all. Uh, They're getting the ball back. There's less than two minutes left, and they let the clock run all the way down yep. before Why? the Chiefs punt. Was, what was the Instead point of, of using a timeout, they had three timeouts. You said that. Yes. They were playing to sit on the out on tie game. They yeah. weren't. If we can get points out, great, but we don't have to. Right? Yep. And that's, to me, you're playing to not, not to lose. To lose. Not you ain't playing to win, win. Yes. you're playing to lose. And that will always backfire. Yeah. The other play you're talking about, I think, is it was second and five, and maybe it was still 20 to 10, or maybe it was 20 to 17, mm. and Jimmy Garoppolo tried to pass it, and the pass got batted down. Yep. But if you run... The first of all, Raheem Mostert, whatever you pronounce it, has been killing, killing everybody bro. all it's season. All postseason. He's had a great game to this point. You might get a first. If not, it's third and one. The clock keeps running. Third and two, third and three, probably. Yeah. And then you can run again, get a first, keep draining clock. Throwing it, it gets batted down. Now the clock stopped. Now it's third and five. Now you get to throw again. And, and then he got sacked on that play, And I think he got sacked. And through, Jimmy, through I another think, incompletion. I don't think through Jimmy's ready. To... Clock stops again. Mm. So yeah. now the Chiefs had that much more time. Mm. And Jimmy's not ready for the. I, I, don't, I, I don't trust him when you need we, him. I was to, saying that all season. I'm just like. And the other pussy decision I thought was his fourth and two, and they went for a field goal to go up twenty to ten. As yeah, to yeah. go for the game, bro. You know, it's the same. Yeah. You're the likely Texans not did. gonna come back next right. year. You yeah. so many things have to go right in the NFL for you to get to the Super Bowl. Look at the Rams last year; they were the shit, and then Bruh. this year they just was. Rash. No boy used to be a 49ers fan. Let me tell y'all the bullshit. For 38 years. I was a, a 49ers fan for hella years, and I'd be yeah. trying to be woke in the black community. because Don't of all do this that shit, shit bro. I know, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be trying to be woke, so I was like, all right, man, like, I'm sick. I don't like how they did Kaepernick. And I had been living in L.A. for the past nine years, and I was like, uh, if I've lived in the city for 10 years, I'll suggest if I switch it. So I said, I don't like how they did Kaepernick. I'm going to go to the Rams. And then the Rams ended up being on some bullshit, and then the 49ers went to the Super Bowl. <laughs> and now I like a fucking idiot. Well, at least they lost. At least they lost. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah. it was looking like they were going to win for a minute. Oh, and Richard man. Sherman, who I love, oh, he hey. got burnt they for him, his, they like, no yeah. explanation. You got shook. He got yeah. cooked. Sat and on I, the ground, bro. Did oh, you see him with that one little bro. shoulder. <laughs> Yeah. That's, that's like when your kids get better than you at 14. Like, I'm hey, so I happy you. to see them lose, though, because the Bay Area is a bunch of fucking cucks, and <laughs> they don't deserve another champion. You got the fucking Warriors already. They, yeah, the and Warriors they got the Giants win a whole bunch. Shit. You didn't need yeah. this. No, nah, they don't. Yeah. They, they're, I was happy for Andy Reid. Yo, Yo, I'm super so happy. happy. Love Andy Reid. I'm like, so he's happy. He's been playing football his whole life. Remember when he was 222 big career kids. wins. Somebody was big. Oh, okay. No, I'm talking oh, about when no. he was like, when Hunt he was a kid. Pump passing thick, Andy like, Reid. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Pump passing thick. <laughs> And he blew a couple. He used to get all the bad ma time management thing. Yeah. He was always mismanaging the clock. Like yeah. every like, bro, How what are you doing? That the other coach is taking the time. Oh, and he just this, he was the OC for the Falcons when they got. So I, I saw Kyle a stat. Shanahan was the OC for the Falcons when they were up on the twenty eight yeah. to three. When they were up twenty to three, and then on the last drive, I don't know if you remember, Julio Jones had an insane catch on the second to yeah. last drive in regulation. If they just run a couple times and they kick a field goal, they're up eleven. New England's not going to win that game. They're not game taking over. Overtime. My, uh, Matt Ryan drops back to pass, and this is on him. He takes a sack like a fucking idiot. Now they're out of field goal range. They're up eight. They punt. New England scores, gets a two-point conversion. They lose. 
But that was on him too, Kyle Shanahan. Why yes. are you calling a pass? What was that stat that they said? Like he's been outscored like like forty to zero in, in the, the last, last two quarters of the Super Bowl. And I think he's a good coach, but yeah. he yeah. fucked this. He ain't this. built for that pressure. <laughs> he fucked it. He fucked that up really yeah. bad. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever he did, he should oh, have done it. Oh snap! <laughs> Imagine going to the Super Bowl twice and knowing it was you that lost it. Bro, oh, that's gotta just. Ooh, and it's you, bro. And it's really tough to get back there. It's oh, tough. My God. It ain't easy because everybody gonna be good again next year. The Rams gonna be good again. <laughs> Seahawks gonna be good. That's not gonna I be no easy walk. My, and yeah. shout out to my boy Brian who sexed me. One of their good defensive linemen is probably gonna leave. He's a free agent. Also, they don't have a draft pick in the second, third, or fourth round. So Who, like, the Niners don't? Niners got a first and then they don't pick again until the fifth. <laughs> so, the idea, if players leave, normally you just get good players back to the yeah. draft. They can't do that. Yeah. Dang! Yeah. Trying to go all in. Yeah, that's. It wasn't a bad move. It just it, they yeah. fucked it up at the end. What time are we at? One ten. We're we're at one ten. You want to do a couple Patreon? Yeah, I, I put up the topic this morning, so we'll see. So hopefully, we'll, we by the way, it. I appreciate y'all for the Patreon. Oh, yo, we uh, completely. God my life. Akash. Yep. Gave us the rundown, oh, a bonus yeah. episode. Oh yeah. Get we completely yes. stole y'all's idea, <laughs> or not? St no, stole completely <laughs> copied y'all. Good, good, good. <laughs> to our benefit. Oh yeah. Good. Changed it's my out. life, bro. Oh. It is the best thing yeah, ever. Like, so don't reinvent the wheel. I was someone saying this about Kobe. He was like, Kobe wasn't afraid to copy greatness. Yeah. Like he saw Jordan, he was like, oh, that works. That, yes. I'm going to do that exact thing yeah. and I'm going to be great. And and he did. Yeah. And he literally like, there's this clip of him doing, like it's Jordan's like 15 moves, crazy. moves yeah, from the yeah, same spot crazy. on the court. Yeah. Yeah. Not just the same move, like the same spot verbatim, yeah. right? Yeah. So we saw that Patreon thing. It was literally life changing. That was changing because that was right at the time that I had quit. It was like a year ago, yeah, right around day. this time. Doughboy was me. Mm -hmm. Doughboy called me. He was in my position. Yeah. And Kev was in your position. <laughs> and and I, we Jesus acted. provides, bro. Yeah. I, really, I said, bro, I said, I Jesus. see y'all killing it on your podcast. Put me on. He said, though, I'm going to put you. He gave me all the game, and it literally changed Akash my life. Akash killed it, man. Akash built that whole thing. Shout out my bro, man. Yeah. I just pay, and, I, and Andrew, I just talked to another comic, Nathan McIntosh, who I'm trying to help out a bit. Very funny dude if y'all ever see him. Yeah. But uh, Andrew said to me, like, just, I was, I'm so thankful for what he did for me. He's like, just pay it forward. And I know yes. you pay it forward to people who will pay it forward. Bro, that's, and that's so, what I, I, I love yes, it. Yes, like, yes. bro, we. Y'all's Patreon doesn't affect ours. Yeah. Like people don't want to share a game. Like, bro, that's it's not like people will not do, like I sh I have like five patrons that I'm supportive of. Like five I'm a, I'm in the 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 army. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's like yeah. I, I yeah, stole the idea and I'm like, but I'm gonna keep the five just <laughs> to pay respect. Like the mob. Like I gotta, you know, you gotta pay break bread with the mob. gotta break yeah. bread with my boy it's to show words, respect. Bro. It's pyramid scheme. Absolutely. Bro, it's I'll so, get you you one, you yeah, give me bro, yeah. that's all it is, bro. I got like five comics that I that I support. I don't even watch all their videos because they ain't really about that. Right. It's yeah. about supporting them. Support. But when people hit me up, I tell them, bro, this is how you do it. Like the only thing people misunderstand is that you can't just set up a Patreon Ex and expect to make I've that I've had some money. people call me that. They'd be like, I set it up now. What do I do? Like, wait, wait. You There's a lot more to it than, <laughs> yeah. than that. And people are not consistent. That's yeah. the thing that people don't want to really sit with the truth of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is your, It's not going to grow if you don't deliver on your premise. Like, yeah. we we had to struggle to get some bonus episodes. On yeah. tour, it's like hard. that second yeah. episode sometimes is like, bruh, I, I'm, I, don't, I don't have no energy. I'm here right now in LA. The only reason is to do this episode. I'd have been home. He yeah. flew. Right. He was already in Northern California. Instead of flying back, he stayed an extra two days. Yeah, three days, three days. probably. Yeah, and then flew down here to record so we could record this. But that's the type of commitment, I guess. It's your Absolutely. job, and man. it changes it because yeah. you know how it is. Like when we're self-employed out here, like in between gigs. Like, the biggest thing for me is that now I get the power to say no. Yeah, to some gigs because you know back in the day they call you, mm -hmm. you got to get that bread. So yeah. now I'm just like. No, I'm good. It got to like, make sense for you. It got to make sense because if not, I'm let me I'm ask right. you this: Are y'all putting the amount of money you're making on your Patreon yet? No. I told you do that. <laughs> I told you, bro. Black, black people is this. different. Yeah, no, but black I told you this, and I stand by this. You nah, don't get it's not black people like to see money, man. No, I'm nah. telling you though. I think you got jewelry on. We that's it's not fake. jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, that whatever's in your cup is worth the same amount as what's on his wrist. <laughs> Black people, when we think you're doing too good, we'd be like, I ain't uh, gonna help, bro. He's doing it. too good, bro. He's good. Yeah. Like now, if you're out of the stratosphere, like Tyler Perry, five hundred million dollars. Like, yeah. there's a dude I helped out, a comedian who made a hundred grand. Like, listening yeah. to my principles, I sell a master class yeah. on how to do that. He was like, "Bro, you can shout me out. Just don't tell nobody how much money I make, because I don't want people counting my pockets." Yeah. Like, we be like that. What like, 
<laughs> I almost just answered. Wait, you teach a master class or you took a master class? No, he ha- no, no, I teach a, I have a what? social media master, like how to build your business on social media. How to, that shit. You, sh- uh, you should. Or you can just I, call I, me I and what? tell me the way I call it. That, but that's, <laughs> re- that's where I got the idea from. Like, yeah. I would be telling comics, like, they'd hit me up like, yo, how did you do the tour? How'd you do that? So I would just be telling them. And my wife, I got to shout my wife out. Man, black women. Mm-hmm. Cat married best. black woman respect. You know best. I mean? yeah. oh, shit, best. Because I was going to travel around and do it like in a phony, city. Bro. See, the right. difference between. I only fucks white girls. Bro. That's not true. <laughs> yeah, he gives a master class. But I'm going to get married to a black woman. <laughs> okay. Yeah. As long as you, as long as you come home fun. when it's time. Yeah. Yeah. As long as you come home when it's time. Yeah. You see Russell Wilson ever since he came to Sierra, like, yeah. he looks so much happier. Yeah, you do. Brother got another kid coming. Bagel yeah. number three. Yeah, yeah. Do, man. But anyway, what I was saying was, uh, I used to tell, tell a whole bunch of comedians it, and my wife was like, why don't you just, instead of going around selling it, just put it online people can click it and watch it and it was the best decision i ever made yeah like i'm trying not to have all my money be from fly stand perform use my voice like that is taxing like touring and junk bro i'd be like like i love stand-up don't get me wrong but man the road especially the way we were doing it three four Uh cities in a row not even being able to be at the clubs like i'm so looking forward to being able to at least wake up in the same city yeah two or three days they but um, on the road, we be man, it was even four hour drives. It just, it, it, should, it, it was flights. it was tough. But ain't nobody really trying to hear people complain about getting paid to tell jokes. <laughs> but that don't mean it ain't hard sometimes. Everything's relative. <laughs> Everything's relative. Right. That's what I try to tell black people about being white. <laughs> <What? laughs> There's nothing tough about Listen, it. Our struggles relative, what is bro. The struggle? We don't know about tell me, the, struggles. Tell, me, tell me three struggles of a white guy. It, when it's hot outside, <laughs> what? The, sun, the sun gets you, bro. We don't have any Sunburn? melanin. You know what I mean? Okay. It's dip, it gets hot. Okay. We got that's eat. their sickle cell. That's Sun- our sickle cell. <laughs> uh, for real. So uh, sunburn? Sunburn. We got to listen to black people complain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that, and like you said earlier, y'all are loud. <laughs> <laughs> y'all are loud, loud about it. So that's, that's that. You know what I mean? And we the first people to always die from coronavirus or any Asian disease. Y'all so this is a lot of problems See, I'll be fucking their girls too much. It's true. Yeah. You think a Chinese guy was just tired of white people fucking his women? He was like, let's hold on. Let's put this shit. <laughs> well, stop. We got to put some dick somewhere. Alex fucking all of ours. You know what I mean? You just gotta pay it forward. Hey. <laughs> you ain't wrong. <laughs> said the hot weather is a <laughs> sun. Y'all are loud. Y'all complain. Mostly y'all. When we owned you, it was a lot easier. We didn't have to go out in the sun. Y'all went out in the sun. Then you came in and brought us to work. Ever you since loud outside. Yeah. Sing all those songs outdoors. <laughs> oh shit. I love the music from the out in the field. Yeah. In the house, we like it quiet. <laughs> but the cotton was good because it would absorb some of the sound. <laughs> <laughs> so that shit didn't really travel, you know what I mean? No. So maybe the ones they laid in the house were the ones who hummed. <laughs> Oh, that's pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> My career is over. Oh, <laughs> man. This is a bonus episode, though. So uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's stop for a second, pay some bills. I really wish Akash was with me right now as we're doing these ads because I love it when he does this read because it's for Radix Remedies. That's right. Radix Remedies, the CBD company. <laughs> I swear it's premium CBD. I swear to God. That's all it is. Maybe we got a good batch. Maybe that's the batch that's out there, so get it while it lasts. But Radix Remedies, uh, R-A-D-I-X Remedies.com. Uh, promo code is flagrant. You get 10% off your entire order. RadixRemedies.com slash flagrant. Promo code flagrant. 10% off your order. They got these pre-rolled joints. CBD. CBD. Okay? These pre-rolled joints. CBD. Um... That's what we were smoking up and getting higher for asses on the podcast. Uh, obviously, they got the gummies. They got this salve. They got this neuro root thing. You start your day with it. Uh, I mean, you are centered, focused, ready to go. They got pills to help you sleep. Be careful with those because they do have some melatonin in them. But if you need a knockout, then they will put you on your ass. They have the entire gambit. It is the CBD company of Flagrant 2. We've partnered with them, this relationship that we will have for a long time. So the asshole army, when it goes to get CBD, it goes to Radix Remedies. Go there right now. RadixRemedies.com slash Flagrant. Use the promo code Flagrant. Get 10% off your order. Enjoy. Let me know how it goes. 
Hey, hey, hey. All right, so what do we got? Let's talk to these patrons. Oh, shit. I forgot. All right, is Pat Mahomes the first $200 million QB? Will Jerry fuck Dak over and tag him or pay him the money he deserved? Um, if so, how much do you think Dak is worth? Pat Mahomes, you think he gets $200 million? I think it's Listen, a question. Listen, gets- second season starting. Mm. Yeah. Super Bowl MVP, Super Bowl winner, NFL MVP. Yeah. Max him out. Cash him out, bro. You have to. Yeah. Yeah, Ca- at 23 or 24? 24. 20, look what Tom Brady did for one team. With all the other players came in and out. Like, they kept that one dude. Yeah. And they we were able to be contenders for what fifteen years straight. Now Brady would always Brady was almost never the highest paid player in the league. No, right. Man, that's why he's mad that. now. Yeah, but you you might as well. Bro. I'll take you being mad in twenty years and six Super Bowls later. Absolutely, because right. right. you I mean you got you all you can get out now, of. and then hopefully after this one you can be like, look, you got to cash yeah. Mahomes I think, out. I, think think Dak, I don't think Dak is worth. You say? Did you say Dak? Dak ain't worth Patrick Mahomes nah, money. No, no. I don't believe in Dak at all. You think that Mahomes will recognize? what Brady did and go, listen, I know I'm worth it, but I'll take a pay cut so we could keep Travis, so we could keep Dan. I, I, I hope would, not. I think he would. I think he would. Cash you think me. he would? And you, you, you got the Chris Paul mentality with it. You're like, yeah, I man. think, bro, like, <laughs> that's, that's an ownership problem. Right. Like, finding people around me, salary cap, you know, luxury yeah. tax, that's y'all responsibility. But it makes it easier to win if you're willing to sacrifice a little bit. That's I, true. I, but I, it also makes you I, easier to win when you're you. No, 100%. Like, don't get me wrong. You deserve your money. I guess at a certain point in time, it's like ha- having $80 million or $84 million or whatever the fuck it is, is not going to make that much of a difference in terms of your happiness. And I don't know who he is. Having one Super Bowl or two Super Bowls yeah. might make a huge, like, you're basically going, how much money would I pay to have another Super Bowl? And right. if you love the game That's so much. That's a great much, way of putting it. Yeah. I, at know, least a chance at another one. Even a first I, Super Bowl if you're Dak. Shit. I think that it sucks, though. I think that it sucks that players are even asked to do that because owners don't do that shit. And when they move on from players, they just move on from it, whether yeah. it's a trade or just a release. So I'm just like, do what's best for yeah. you. I Because they put that on athletes like, well, you should take less. No, owners don't ever take don't less of to. nothing. You don't no. have to. Owners don't want, and I assume, owners don't want a salary cap. Like, I, if, nah. I'm the, if I'm the, if I'm James on the New York Knicks, I'm like, well, just let me pay LeBron 100 million. I got that's how million. that's, that's why like Premier League soccer, soccer right? is yeah. so good. But the problem with Premier League soccer is that the same two teams are the ones in the you know. But you know what though? Here's my argument to that. People like that. Oh, People, we, we, we don't like see. parody as much no, as right. we want. You're we right. want to root against you or for you. Like yeah. that's why in Premier League, like I, I just started getting into it. Yeah. It'd be the same six teams for like the last 20 years. Yeah, like that or it's. One of these six is going to win yeah. outside of like some random aberration. Yeah. Fans are cool with that. Even if your team sucks perennially, yeah. you you start to be like, man, this is, you know, hopefully they, we'll be able to compete. They build culture differently. Like they build the culture of the team at like a really young age. Yeah, like, you mm-hmm. academy level. Juniors. That's when I realized my son wasn't going to make it to the Premier League. Why? they can't. When I realized They're where like six at the age they almost. start. Oh, yeah. But the people who don't even make it to the top. Yeah. Like if he was good enough in Europe, he wouldn't even be going to regular school. Like, they're like, bro, you, you're you pro at, like, 11. But what do they do when those guys, when you, like, get somebody where you can be going pro at 11 if it just doesn't pan out? What do they do at, like, 16? Just... They're pro in another in a yeah. lower division. They really? go to some yeah. shittier country. It's like so they ball like, or they come to the MLS. So they'd be like, forget getting the education, just play. And but what's the point that? of getting the education, bro? We're here to get paid. Yeah. yeah. Our whole school system was set up for farming. <laughs> like, we just wanted to give people enough knowledge to be able to be farmers. Is that right? Yes. That's the whole American, the one schoolhouse thing. It was to teach people how to be smart enough to run a farm. We got to give you a little bit enough information so you're, like, kind of well-rounded. Mm. But, but then you got to go get a job. Like, none of that junk matters. That's why, like, pro tennis players go pro at 13. They Boxers at 16. Yeah. Like, why are we trying to hold NBA players back? That's you, actually really true. You can be wow. in the league at 16. Yeah, we're trying to hold them back, obviously, because there's like a billion dollar industry that gets supported. Oh, yeah. NCAA. Back, right? <laughs> Absolutely. How does that? But so LeBron could have been, yeah. like, in Europe, Luca and them, they be playing pro yeah, for yeah, years yeah, before yeah, they come yeah. to the league. That's yeah. why they'd be so much more developed because they'd be playing against grown men for a long time. Yeah. That's why LeBron, remember LeBron got like 20 and 10 his first game in the league? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, imagine he'd been able to be pro for four years before he came to the league. <laughs> yeah. Like, crazy. bro, he was playing against kids who were going to algebra and then you got to go play LeBron James? <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? That'd be crazy. <laughs> I was just at lunch. Now I got to guard somebody who's 6'8". I'm 5'11". At a school in the suburb? What you want me to that do with LeBron James? That is funny The people who had to play against him, like, <laughs> why even me? line up? Like, oh, come on, bro. <laughs> 
Enough. <laughs> Dunk it on everybody. <laughs> Not the other good team. I'm talking about Wesleyan uh, Catholic. <laughs> 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 Their game on Thursday in November. Them kids ain't got no chance to get LeBron. Wesleyan Catholic. <laughs> uh, Oladipo Olagun said, uh, was Tom Brady's commercial I'm staying with the Patriots or I'm staying in the league and not retiring commercial? Just see that Tom Brady uh, yeah. joint? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was good. That was, I, I think he's was... staying in the league, not the Patriots. You know what I think? I'm a, I'm a, you know, I think he could possibly go. The Raiders? San Francisco. No, they just paid Jimmy. I think that they'll maybe get him Apparently for a year to kind of sit him. I don't know how. To I don't... sit him underneath him because he always wanted to play for the 49ers. He's from the Bay. Who, Tom Brady? Yes. Yeah. I might have misunderstood wow. the tweet, but someone was saying the Niners could save like $25 million moving on from Garoppolo and signing Brady or Breeze. If you, I don't you, know you how. What? You're telling me if you put... Like t- cutting him? I don't know how, and I, that's why I didn't look into it to see oh, okay. exactly. You're telling me if you put Tom out. Brady on the 49ers as presently constructed, do you really that's think that game goes down like it did last night? No, no absolutely not. No. Brady going to no. get you that. Absolutely definitely. not. The, Tom uh, Brady, the reason Brady they won. Bosa, the Mega oh, come Twins, on, yo. Bro. Oh. 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 oh, my God. Bosa's <laughs> a relentless, too. Yo, did y'all see Jamila Hill's goofy-ass tweet? This bitch What's too she much, said? yo. It's too much. Jamila Hill... Jamila, so, yeah, Jamila. Somebody the one, the one, went through and found that Nick Bosa follows an account that made a joke about Kobe's death. And she's like, this is who Nick Bosa is. He's following this account. But it's, it's a like, satirical uh, Instagram account that has jokes. So it's like... It's like a meme page. It's right. a meme page. So like, you can't control what memes are posted on that he page. He didn't like it. He didn't, he didn't like it. it or anything. They so didn't the moment just, she, she just put that, that he she's follows using it? It's like a guilty cancel. by association type of thing? Yeah, she's like, but uh, this is the type of person is. He would follow an account that would post something that he had no clue... They would post. That's a little yeah. tough. He did yeah, some shit a, to, to yeah. Dez, on, too. Man. I'm a big Dez Bryant fan. On, like, Dez went to Blaze Pizza and tipped like $100 or somebody. Like a Blaze Pizza. And then the, the waitress retweeted and said, I'm still going to root for... I'm still not a Cowboy fan, though. I still hate the Cowboys or whatever. Dez retweets that, and he's like, oh, I guess I won't be eating a Blaze Pizza anymore, laughing. And then Jamil Hill, because Dez wouldn't kneel... She was like, oh, so you'll take a stand against Blaze Pizza, but you won't take a stand against <laughs> oh, okay. dot, 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 never mind. Uh, and then uh, and then she tried to backtrack and be like, I was kidding. But it's like, what? no, you weren't, bitch. And if you were, <laughs> so that, that's an Ari Shafir level joke. Like, you uh, ain't doing nothing but bringing trouble. Uh, yeah, I don't I, I think she that's, that's a hot take. That's a hot take right there. You just called Jamil Hill Ari Shafir. Son. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was epic it. level reach. <laughs> so put that I, put that on the IG. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Let this bitch retweet me. <laughs> Jamil Hill's nice, man. I met her. You did? Oh yeah, I, I was with you. I respect that she it's took a stand nice. enough to lose a ill ass job at ESPN. She quit. She quit. She she believed what in that. What happened to the dude that she used to be in the show with? What was his name? He's still he left too. Michael Smith. Michael Smith. They both left. Yeah, he left too. Well, did they do sports still? Yeah, he ain't get no credit. Yeah, Nobody he, give a fuck about him. He, she yeah, <laughs> she worked for the Atlantic. He he, he started some new venture. But he was a writer by trade. Yeah, and yeah. He should have been like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think they just got got tired of being at ESPN. Yeah, that could happen. Yeah, I think they. I think ESPN's past his prime. Yeah, they had a show though that I'll be watching the the isn't hers. Yeah, but it just wasn't doing that well, and I it think that like, they kind of got ahead of the show being. Oh, canceled. got it. Mm. I think that was. Look, it's a tricky time. It is. A second what question. Second yeah. question. He asked that we. I think we should talk about. Um, he talked about one night, but we should talk about it longer. Can we talk about the spirit of Kobe Bryant possessing Damian Lillard on his memorial night at the Stable Center? Bro, actually, it's he been like two been, weeks now. Yeah, he's been on that. Damian epic. Damian Lillard is averaging like forty eight point six points a game over his last like seven, and uh. it's like. He's not taking, sh- it's not like 30% shooting. Nah. It's like 60% shooting. He's a different guy. Nine assists per game. It's different right now. Right. Yeah, he. It's- <laughs> I, I really like him just for one, just because he's just all about ball. Like, I don't really Bruh. hear much from him, but he balls and he balling on the epic tear. I feel like right. maybe he's just really, really been inspired and, and, I, and going on one of those tears. I think um, that's what Kobe would have wanted. Mm. Yeah. I saw the one, the one funny Kobe joke I saw was like, you know, the team, I think the Spurs and the Kings, whoever's playing, they both ran out the clock the first uh-huh. time. And then somebody was like, Kobe is the most competitive yeah, person he's, ever. He's up there. He was like, every possession counts. Yeah. Like, that was like <laughs> right. a funny joke in the spirit of Kobe. Sense. Right, right, right. Somebody asked Dane, like, did you want to kind of let them win tonight? And Dane was like, no. Nobody <laughs> wins. We're just playing right. basketball, but right. also I want to go for 40. You know what's funny about Dame? I know it's not the answer to the question. Russell Westbrook keeps taunting Dame, and Dame embarrasses him time and time again. <laughs> he pulling up from the logo on Russ 
40. Remember when he uh, when he, he eliminated the um, Thunder? They said that, that guy and Wade him. They said like that was the bro. He killed the franchise with that shit. It was the yeah. it was the most like daggerish dagger I've ever seen. And Russell keeps coming back, and it's like yeah. this is the most lopsided rivalry. Like Russell Dame. off the bench now, yo. Is he? Um, like, I mean, he should be. I don't know if he is, but is, he sh- oh, is he killing bench, this year? You're, you're a glorified super sub. That's James Harden's team. You should come off the bench, be Manu, but like. You're not even the best player on your own team anymore. Nah. Yeah. Was he ever the best player on the team? Yeah. Oh, the, the MVP the, season. Yeah, when he was dropping triple doubles. Right. But uh, he's just not good enough to carry the team. And I think somebody said it. It's like... Wait, Russell's not good enough to carry the team? You don't think so? No. You're probably not your best team if Russell Westbrook is your you're best down player. By, right. You're down by three. You want the ball in Harden, Harden's hands instead of... Over Russell? Yeah. Instead of Russell? Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. I feel like Russell got that dog in him, though, that won't no, allow him no, to... absolutely not. He got that dog, he also, but he don't got that shot, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah. He takes a lot of bad shots. Yeah. A lot okay. of bad shots. And we're fans of... I, I like game, Russell, but... but yeah. Have you seen Harden? Yeah, but I feel like he's a lot of iso ball. Nah, but that's, that's what happens. Everybody's got to just sit around and watch him and be like, all right. But you also can't stop him, though. Yeah. He just has more things he can do with the ball, right? Like, Russell, he got to get in that mid-range. He can't pull up for three. Mm. You got to get the mid-range. You got to back you down. Any double team comes, he's going to have to pass out of it. But James, if you don't play up on me, I'm wet. I'm Absolutely. Really wherever, right? If you do play up on me, it's a layup, easy. My drive pass, or and then as soon as you catch a three, step back. And do you think splash. he's a flopper, or do you really feel like he gets fouled a lot? No, he's a flop. No, he flops. His game is annoying as game. fuck, but he's yeah. really good. <laughs> the game rewards it. That's the thing that's fucked up. It's like you almost can't blame him because he hacked the game of basketball. Yeah. Right. He found a way to score, and that's the point. It's like if you're an offensive player, find a way to score. Oh, yep. I get fouled? All right, boom, you did it. Do you feel like they can make noise in the playoffs this year? No. No, absolutely not. No. Who y'all think going to take it this year? Not, it's just LeBron. Yo, if LeBron does it, man. It'll be, it'll be dope. Wow. LeBron, bro, he's going to be hard to Everybody beat four times Everybody say all that, but then when they be playing the Clippers, they I be I think it's going to be, if washed. Kawhi is healthy because he sat games out, why, Doughboy? <laughs> they'll win. <laughs> if Kawhi is healthy, I think the Clippers win. If Kawhi is healthy and Paul George is healthy, he's a You're taking them over AD and LeBron? Yes. Yes. The thing is, the Clippers, the Clippers had a, a, a nice run last year without Kawhi or Paul George. And they didn't lose anybody to gain them. They took they two just, off the Warriors. Yeah. Yeah. No, they, 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 With they KD. It. Yeah. With but fully healthy. Then they won't go to seven or went to six? Seven. Six. Was it six? six? Yeah, they took two off. Six, okay. yeah. Yeah, Lou Williams balled out of this. Lou Williams out of this Williams world. still there. Pat Montrez Harrell. I'm going to tell y'all Montrez who I think Harrell. the sleeper is for this season. I could see them realistically winning the championship. The Heat. They're what? I'm just something about Jimmy sleeper. Butler that <laughs> I sleepers. think yeah. that I trust. They're doing well. To win the they're, championship? I think nah, that hey, come on. Because the East is weak. I feel like you don't feel like they can come out of the East? I think the Bucks will come out I of the East. I don't think they can beat the Bucks four times. I think the Bucks. Did you see what happened to the Bucks last year from the Raptors? Yeah, Kawhi. Yeah, but they had Kawhi, Kawhi though. Happened. They did. You're forgetting that one part. <laughs> Kawhi, Kawhi was a different maker. Right. Kawhi happens. That Kawhi would be my slogan. If I'm marking Kawhi. Defender. So if you see if you have the Bucks and the Heat in the in the Eastern Conference Finals, you're just automatically saying the Bucks? Yes, I'm picking I think the, the Raptors. Got a chance? I don't know why people sleep on the Raptors. Like this kid, Pascal Siakam is playing. He's a bruh. That was yeah. the only one they wouldn't give up too, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's right out there. Yeah, Let's they get one more of them quests, Jones. Mark, help him out there so the whole thing don't fall apart. Um, I don't know much about this, but I heard apparently this is from Taylor Knight. There's a new Taylor Swift documentary, and it's like really trash in the Kanye moment, and like I guess saying it's like classic. At whatever, this probably. point, okay, go ahead. don't we think this is the moment that really polarized and skyrocketed her career? No, yeah. she was popping already. She, was popping. she, but she did capitalize off the moment, Absolutely. and I can't even yeah. be mad at her. Like, you should. listen, Kanye as was you trying should. To capitalize off her moment, exactly. Yeah. Trying to pass it to Beyonce, like if you're Taylor Swift, you milk that. Yeah. Like she and I, I agree with Ye Schultz. Didn't care about Beyonce's moment. Ye wanted to be the guy saying. True. Should be Absolutely, True. that's actually yeah, a fantastic. Kanye point. cares about him. It's always. Can I find Kanye. them both incredibly annoying? Yeah, I yeah. thought Two both. Of that, true. I thought yeah. Taylor Swift acting like, like that's such a traumatic it. moment. Is yeah. it such a white woman thing to do? Yeah, it's I a feel fucking like she VMA, it bitch. Yeah. It's not a Grammy, <laughs> ho. Yeah. It's a fucking VMA. It you was. stupid white I bitch. I feel like she milked it's it for fucking, years. Yes. It's a fucking astronaut trophy, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what you all said about an astronaut with popcorn, bitch? Get the fuck out of here. That's that's a month of therapy, Max, bitch. <laughs> stupid ass. Bitch. She was writing songs about it. I was like, okay, enough. Relax. She's still talking about. It, yeah, it's it's like, been a decade. <laughs> this shit was before Tiger Woods cheated on his fucking girl. Was it? 
Bro, it was that was like 07 or 7. That was like 2009. It was like the same year. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I didn't she realize it had been that long. It was worth. Stupid ass bitch. <laughs> 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 I have strong feelings Fuck about Taylor this moment. Swift, yo. <laughs> Her fans hate me, man. Oh, really? my what? God. Because she made that. Somebody said that Taylor looked light skinned in a video. And I was like, Taylor Swift looks like Taylor's literally the whitest person ever. And they were, I mean, her fans, the sw- oh my God, all in my mentions. I had a picture of the previous video was my son's scoring a soccer goal. This kid's never going to be anything with his dad <laughs> with you. I'm wow. like, dog, man. They were as bad as World Star. Oh, yeah. They're World Star coming. Beehive. Oh, the beehive is the word. What, is her, what is her Legion of Fans called? The Taylorites? The Swifties, I think. The Swifties? Swifters. Swifters? Something like that. I don't know. The Swifters. Oh, what are they called, man? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You don't get no uh, sweet nothing. Yo, what's nah. up with Justin Bieber not selling albums no more? Is he not? I don't know. Nah, he, he was selling. Kidding. They're not that good though. He was trying to be Roddy Rich. I would have uh, thought that we hadn't heard Roddy, since from Justin Bieber in so long. Has anybody heard the new Justin Bieber album? You can't. I think it's Roddy, just the, the song. That Roddy Rich song is so dope. It's just. Sometimes a wave happens. There's nothing. You nothing you, it's like a little Nas song. It is. You're, you're, it, you look. Nothing. You look like you're getting in the way of a tank. Like That's this right. is gonna be what it's gonna be. Bad Just, timing. Bad timing, really man. Bad Just timing. get out like, the way. That shit out. Like when Duval's small bitch came. Uh, out, like, there's nothing you could do. You can do. Nothing, nothing you can you do can about do. that. Just let it happen. Let it happen. I heard about the box before I ever heard that song. Like I heard memes about it. People talking about. it. I had to go search it because it wasn't hitting my. Periphery. I was I like, also, oh, so, so, when they, when, so when Justin and, and Serena song, were saying that, they were I saying assume. it for their singles to sell, not their albums? No, their albums. Their okay, albums. So, so, so Justin did put out an album. No, I think he was trying to. So it was he both. He wanted Yummy okay. to hit he number wanted one. Yummy right. to hit number one. She yeah. wanted her album to hit number one. Yeah, yeah. And Roddy Rich was just beating both of them. No, no, she beat him. Oh. She got the number one album. Yeah, like, did. it worked. Yeah. But he got it back the next week, though, right? I didn't follow it after that. I lost interest. She won. I didn't even know she made music like that. I didn't either. Yo, Roddy tweeted something funny. He was like, yo, go stream Justin's album. Yeah, yeah. or Serena's <laughs> album. Yeah, because they, they album. both made videos yeah. to the fans. Like, man, that just was go listen, problem. go to sleep and just it. let it loop. That was like Lil Nas when Pastor Troy went on that thing. I don't know if y'all heard about that. <laughs> Pastor Troy was, him and his son were <laughs> at Applebee's and apparently two gay dudes were eating mozzarella sticks and him and his son had had enough. Yeah. And they, <laughs> 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 y'all didn't hear about this? Nah. Oh, Pastor Troy went on this Instagram. He put a picture of Lil Nas S in this pink cowboy suit pink hat and he was like if this is what I gotta wear to win a Grammy then I'll never win one and Lil Nas was like I look good in that though <laughs> like you can't you can't troll you can't internet kid troll him yes. that he, he came up being a Nicki Minaj um, like fan leader or something like that right. like he, he's like a comic at this point yeah. Yeah. everything is material so you look worse Trying to go, yeah, you because yeah. he's using everything against you. Like it was, then they started memeing Pastor Troy. It was, it was just fantastic. <laughs> Pastor Troy, he used to be a rapper oh, back in the day. Yeah, old school, old school rough rapper. gangster hip hop. You know a Pastor Troy song? I can't think of it right now. <laughs> Dude, I was gonna say, do you? I don't uh, know. You know. I'm a pastor. I'm a troll. <laughs> I, I can't think of one at the moment. <laughs> Nothing just. He has a song. It. I can't. What is Pastor Troy's big song? Um. Uh. Is it? A uh, big ball and snatch and fit my end, oh, something like that. A oh, baller, shot caller. Yeah, and is that it? Is that Pastor That's Troy? That's Pastor Troy? 20 inch brand on the Wanna be a baller? Is that? Is caller, that? get late tonight. That's Pastor Troy? That's not Pastor Troy. You guys, friend, the eyes are hitting the highway. If it's not him, we're going to be trash. That might be Pastor Troy. Yeah, what about the last little Troy? Yeah, the last little Troy. No, it's little Troy. That's not even Pastor. That's not Pastor Troy. Troy, bro. That's a whole different Troy. Them Troys will a, get you, bro. That's a, that's <laughs> them Troys will get you every oh, time. So what did Pastor Troy do? I don't know, man. Nobody give a fuck. Not enough. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we're per- Dang, we had a whole somebody else's song. <laughs> <laughs> Lil Troy's Listen, like, it's happening again. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> We got we got to wrap this up, man. But for thank sure. y'all so much for coming. Appreciate y'all, man. Us. Yo, y'all got to come to New York, dude. Oh man, when we, you guys I'm in coming to New York in April. Yo, come on. Yes. Come on, what? Come, come on, on flagrant, man. Oh, come on we together. weren't on flagrant? You are, but <laughs> when you're in New come York, back. you come Oh, back. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what have we been doing for the past uh, hour? Uh, <laughs> what was this? <laughs> trial run, dude. No, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll absolutely come. <laughs> yeah, this is the Don't boy pull up, man. For sure. <laughs> we'll do some New York. Uh, y'all got the new po- new studio there? Yeah, yeah, man. I want you guys to check out the new studio. I'm y'all actually going. I'm going to copy you again because we just got a new office yeah. and it's all white walls. Yo, yeah. you, let me tell you something. Your shit before was trash. Damn, man. Trash, Why'd trash. you tell us this? I told you. Y'all filming me on a fucking iPhone. Didn't I tell you this is ridiculous? You did tell us that. 
<laughs> he did that. And then the Josh pro- deserves better, bro. And then the producer was giving y'all attitude. I was like, yo, put up with this shit for the motherfucker filming on the iPhone? What the fuck is this? He doesn't want to shoot on the iPhone. That was me. Oh, I like the iPhone. Up, we, might have to, hey. we got the Sonys and stuff. It's just, I don't He's even been, know why I complain. I don't even edit the stuff. What am I, why am I complaining? Somebody else has to deal with the footage. <laughs> and we got to get you two to come on and do, come yeah. do the righteous and ratchet. Want, you know what I'm saying? Next time you're in LA, we'll figure Anytime it out. Anytime y'all want. Thank there, you for man. having us, you man. We appreciate it. This is great, man. they can find you, though. Kev on stage everywhere. Where righteous ratchet. Uh, what's the, no boy, D-O-B-O-Y. This is what Andrew usually does. I think it's a good way to promote. Is uh, what's yes. the episode of your podcast that you think if you're if I'm a new listener? Doughboy bought a car that can't reverse. Yes. Doughboy bought a car that can't reverse. <laughs> the funniest episode <laughs> of our podcast. That episode. But that's yeah, we, smart. That's what we <laughs> not do, just man. our podcast. Which because the last it's episode could have been a dud. Yeah. You're not even. It's just too many episodes. It gets overwhelming, and you're like, what should I spend time? And then you just go away. But if you say there's one episode. They're so fire. Mm-hmm. And they listen to it and they don't like it, good, because they're not supposed to be a fan. And if they do like it, I love ooh, that. That's, that's a one. bar right there. Come on. Joe bro. Boy bought a car that can't reverse. That's a good, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep I that. I like it. And hey, man, run with it, bro. There's nothing here that we do that you shouldn't copy, man. It's for all, it's for everybody. I mean that sincerely. For sure, it's, man. You don't even have to use that word copy. It's for everybody. It's yours already. I'm with all of that, I man. I appreciate that. you, brother. Thank you Thank guys you for, for sharing your platform. Appreciate it, man. Take it easy. Man, peace. God bless.